What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I am about to head to the beach. We're meeting a new threesome girl that we banged out on Friday night. It was 1481, blonde, fake tits, tattoos, super hot. And we have two more scheduled tonight, joint for both of us, me and my chick, uh, for two new threesomes with our joint Tinder profile. And I have a new super hot one before that one-on-one. -on -one. So beach, close, and then potentially one or two more closes. And I was reflecting, I was thinking, because in the survey we put out, it said 23, we asked you guys in my audience, how many girls have you slept with? 23% of you said zero, virgin, okay? That means one in four guys watching my channel are a virgin. And then 37%, which is a little more than one in three, uh, are under 10 digit lay count. Okay, they're in single digit lay count, which means if you combine those two things, 60%, three out of five of you that are watching have slept with 10 girls or less lifetime. Okay, and most guys going through my eight week program are, a lot of them are sleeping with 10 right in that two months. Okay, and then they can keep repeating that for a lifetime. And I was thinking like, what's some like real, like long explanation that like really explains the depths of like what's going on here with the system and the lead working on stuff. And I remembered, aha, five years ago, uh, in 2017, my famous five hour video, okay, that I made in Portugal, where I drank a whole bottle of liquor during the making of that. But I go over kind of the mindsets of the woman through the whole process, and why it is essential and imperative to learn optimal skill level as quickly as possible. Okay, and as effectively as possible. And that's what I provide in my week program. So uh, I'll have the little logo in the corner, as always, PlatinumDatingSystem.com. I urge you guys to go to PlatinumDatingSystem.com and or check out the link in the description or pinned comment to book your free 30-minute call and learn more. Okay, 60% of you are single-digit lay count or lower. One in four of you are virgins. I can get you to lose your virginity in one or two weeks. Starting this week, starting right now, Literally in one or two weeks, you could lose your virginity with extremely high chance, okay? So you don't need to suffer. You don't need to uh, think that you're different or that this won't work for you or you're some special exception because that's all bullshit, okay? So without further ado, and I apologize to those of you that have seen this, but it's a five-year-old video and I, I was at 700 something lay count, okay, about half where I'm at now, but it's very insightful and a lot of people have said it's the favorite video of, the, of mine on the channel. And I wanted to share it with a lot of the new subscribers, um, people that haven't seen it. Even if you have seen it, I encourage you to watch a bunch of it again. It is pretty epic. I do highly encourage watching the whole thing. You don't have to do it all at once. It is five hours, but it will teach you a lot. Okay. So without further ado, I will roll the five hour video and remember book one of those free 30 minute calls and we can change your situation very quickly. All right, guys. Enjoy. All right, boys. Here we go. Uh, let's get me into the shot here. This is going to be a fucking epic video. I finally got my hair cut. Let's make it a little bigger here. Okay. Hello. Welcome. We're going to get into a really fucking, uh, not super technical, but kind of a technical analysis of game. Um, and how, okay, like, how did I fuck 750 girls, right? Some of you may be wondering that. Some of you may not care. <laughs> um, it's a system. It's a machine. It's a fucking formula. And I'm going to explain that in depth in this video here. Um, so let's see. It's fucking, what time is it? In Portugal here. Eight in the morning. I am drinking whiskey. I just lost my streak. I fucked thirteen new in thirteen days, <laughs> and I just, I just missed, so to speak. Last night I had a chick in my bed, like playing my dick, making out all the stuff, massaging me, but like she had. An old-fashioned hard line or whatever about hooking up on the first date so 
and the frustrating part for me is I had a different chick and watch my other video about framing dates straight to the house I had a different chick that was set up to come straight to the house to drink wine drink wine aka bang and she waited at the train station she came in from like 40 minutes away and waited at the train station for two hours and again I always use poker analogies there's a term called pop committed where basically like you bet enough or like you're invested enough in the hand where you just see it to the end and that was my rationale like this girl was playing with my dick and making out with me so I'm like yeah like I can get this to close and she was like warm, warming up more and more and more but she still ultimately had the hard line of uh, not putting out and there was this train station <laughs> chick waiting for like two hours that was even hotter that I think would have banged with high probability anyways that's like where I'm at right now but okay so that this ties into the video actually <laughs> How did I just fuck 13 girls in 13 days? Am I a magician? Am I a... What is going on here? Right? Like, that's, high, that's higher than most of your lay counts. I, I know that for a fact because I've taught programs for five years and I, in my pre boot camp questionnaire, I asked guys, what is your lay count? And I just know a lot of community guys and the, the average lay count in the community and I think this was even confirmed. I'm not part of Todd's, RST Todd's um, private forum, but someone sent me a screenshot where like someone asked like, what are your guys' late counts? And, like everyone was saying like 10 or something. Like that was like the average. What I found is that the typical community guys between, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. I have two apt updates available. Um, <laughs> I love it when when it when it does that shit on your phone. It's like gonna restart it or on your computer. It's like you have like five hours left, and then we're gonna like force you to restart. Um, the average is five to twenty. That's the range that I found. And I'm clearing the, again when I say these things. I'm not I'm not like trying to be like a huge fucking dickhead like bragging. Get the fuck out! What is this shit? Get the fuck out of here. Um. Uh, it's like okay but the statement I was going to make is like I'm clearing over 20 a month now a month this is your guys lifetime count you need to learn from me I'm going to be teaching you on a daily basis I've committed to putting out this content it felt very refreshing to to cover all this stuff about the arrest because to, imagine imagine you, you have the skills that to just annihilate all this stuff right and, and it is, everyone's running around like, he's a rapist, he's a rapist, he's a... If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the arrest video. I've been misaccused of being a rapist. Um, there was not even sex in that case, there's no convictions. I'm not going to get into it. Alright, so let's just jump right into this. Um, there should be a mouse tr tracing going on here. So, I want you guys to think of this very systematically like some of your brains don't work this way this is how my brain works this is the game here in this chart so you are acquiring leads talk about this in other videos from night game which is bars and clubs from online game mostly tinder and bumble there's also <laughs> okay cupid and plenty of fish which have much lower quality and you have day game which I personally don't do much of it all. I out of my 750, well it's actually 760 last night was 766. But out of all those lays like maybe 20 are from day game. Like I think day game is I just don't personally like it that much. It's it's mostly like, it's the the bang for the buck. It's like another poker analogy. It's like playing limit hold'em. It's like you, your bets are limited. Like you're going to encounter a set every once in a while it's it's like mostly weird to be opening a girl during the day and she's going to be like off like feeling like it's awkward and also they're like usually really busy you can't make out usually because you're in public you can't 
pull usually because they're busy and it's fucking weird because it's the days I don't know I just there's just a whole bunch of downsides to it so not important so th this is these blue boxes this is where you are acquiring leads and when I, when I refer to the term lead it's basically like a, a sales term by the way there's like this super super hot Dominican chick with fake tits that's we like set up a whole thing to get a hotel in New York City and all this shit <clears throat> when I come back to the States um, on Saturday I'm gonna be living in New York City and she's just like sex it's 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 one of those ones that's like really on she's like sexting and sexting and sexting and like, I want you to do this I want you to do that and like let me send you nudes like multiple times a day oh shit um no, we haven't this is gonna be a new one okay so so this blue shit here oh sorry so the leads the leads the, the term lead it's a sales term all I'm referring to by that is like a potential like a girl that you haven't banged yet that's like a potential girl on the hook that you can possibly bang and that in a practical sense that translates to a phone number like you have this connection to her through a phone number and I'm gonna try to I'm trying to like stay off tangents in my videos now because I always like digress like I'm just like constantly like going all over the place just because my brain is always like it's like a, <laughs> a beehive of activity I think that I think it's like a quote from American Psycho it's like a real beehive of activity back soon <clears throat> all right um what was my point leads like oh phone numbers you're, like you're you're acquiring these these leads through these sources in the blue you're obtaining phone numbers and then you can oh I remember my my slight tangent that I was gonna hit really fast mystery who is and he admitted this is in the low 300 count and he's like 50 now and he says like don't acquire phone numbers that's completely dead wrong like and I have all these guys trying to trying to argue with him about that just because he's mystery and I respect mystery but his whole his whole rationale behind that is like if the girl's not being compliant enough to give you her Skype then it's not worth it but to me that's like completely retarded because most girls don't even know what Skype is let alone have <laughs> Skype mobile installed on their phone the way you fuck a lot of girls <laughs> okay the way you I don't I don't even know like how like we used to me and him used to text a lot last year and like I was like dude what the fuck are you talking about like we're like this is 2017 like like fuck I'm, gonna, I'm doing the tangent shit again but really fast Casanova like the legendary Casanova hit like 140 count like lifetime but he didn't have a cell phone now we have cell phones the majority of your lays this is like real real nobody talks about this stuff in videos no one fucking shows the, the system like this this is the, this is the machine this is the this is the the system to, to fuck tons of hot girls this is the system I'm gonna go through it um in 2017 we have cell phones you're getting these leads at these sources in the blue here and you're getting phone numbers and the majority of your lays are going to come from dates and are going to and um, I talked about in another video how to how to get them straight to your house and not even have to go to a date venue and spend money and spend time but you're going to be acquiring phone numbers and you're going to be working those phone numbers over text and then you're going to be setting up meetups called logistics and then you're going to be closing that's how you fuck a lot of girls okay so when someone tells you for instance mystery don't get phone numbers wrong complete like completely wrong like just I respect the guy a lot he, he innovated a lot I, I use a bunch of his concepts in my game to this current day but that's totally off it's totally wrong and we don't need to go on and on about that so now these are these boxes in the in the green are 
the skill aspects of this game. I've talked about poker is a skill game, chess is a skill game. You can improve your skill set. I'm like tempted to this fucking Dominican keeps like sexting and sending she's like super super horny. It's like one of those ones where it's like I'm gonna like well, like introduce myself and she's gonna like attack me like sexually. But I won't I won't look. I'm like resisting the temptation. So so these green areas are where you need to focus on and where you need to learn from. From guys like me, from guys like Alex Vilenchek, from playing with fire, from guys like David Swift, from Swift Pickup, from guys like Chris Wilde from Social Prime, Sonny Arvado from Strained by Sunny, Adrian Manson, who runs uh, the, <laughs> the Emancipation Station. So that's his Facebook group name. And if you guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I, I made a video about how you should be learning game, and I link in that description of that video all these guys, these groups, and the Facebook groups, and the resources. So moving right along, you're acquiring leads and i'm going to show you a, a separate picture in a minute here your lay count and your results results i should just use the word results because lay count everyone's like oh your results which means closes which means sex the, the amount of hot chicks you are banging is a direct product first of all of the amount of leads you are acquiring so i have another video and I'm not trying to just like reference, cross-reference all these videos and stuff, but I'm tying into other, so I don't have to recover the material. The amount of leads you're acquiring, and then I write here lead acquisition. Look at my video where I talk about working volume. If you put more leads into the system, which is volume, quantity, quantity of phone numbers, which means in this particular case with night game going out more nights of the week and i know a lot of you are busy at least go out like friday and saturday preferably th three or four or more like, like when i was really crushing night game i was going out like six seven nights a week five nights a week online game um the way to acquire leads there i i again, i'm not even gonna apologize for this anymore but i'm referencing another video i just made showing how to make your profile pictures you need a professional camera you need professional lighting you need photoshop to boost your aesthetics and if that's more that's morally wrong to you because that's not how you really look then you're an idiot because you can make yourself look more visually appealing with photoshop um the best way to acquire more leads and okay so the, the way to acquire more leads in that game is to go out more the way to acquire more leads in online game is to set a daily calendar reminder and for those of you that aren't tech savvy go to the calendar in your phone set a reminder for whatever time you're going to be like awake and paying attention or whatever like maybe 11 a.m maybe 1 p.m and type into the fucking uh description like tinder and bumble or like use tinder and bumble and for those of you that don't know, that don't know what bumble is it's like a derivative of tinder where like the girl has to message you first google it <clears throat> google it those are the two primary channels for online game and the reason why it's important to set a daily reminder is because guys just forget to use these apps imagine like you tinder you're like swiping right swiping left and then like you just forget about it and like five days pass that's five days of like missed matches like you can't match chicks if you're not swiping and the CEO of Tinder, here's another really quick aside, said the best way to get a lot of results on Tinder, aka a lot of matches, aka a lot of leads, which is the point here, is to use the app frequently because the algorithm, and he said this in an interview, which is important because it got like lost in the noise on the internet. The algorithm like favors you <clears throat> like using the app surprise surprise so like even if you can use it multiple times a day that's really good like when you're swiping the algorithm is going to like display you to other girls and it's going to give you more matches it's basically like like swiping more equates to like 
<clears throat> going out more in night game. Okay, day game you can. Again, I'm I'm personally biased against this one because I think the bang for the buck is just shitty. Like twenty of my lays are from here. I think. I I will. Here's one thing you can do. You can make a hard rule right now, starting today, that whenever you see a girl, whatever your whatever your like line is for the hotness factor. For me, it's like eight or eight point five at this point. For you newbie guys, it should be like a six five or seven. And, and I hate when newbies are like, "Oh, well, I don't want to fuck a six or a seven. You have to, like, you have to build up. Like, you, yeah, of course we all want to bang nines and tens, but you're never gonna get laid if you do that because your skill level is not appropriate yet to bang a nine. Um, make a hard rule starting today. That every single time you see a girl above the threshold, and it should just be a binary decision. Like, I would bang her, I would. So set that fucking line, seven, six, five, eight, whatever it is. When you see a girl above that threshold, force yourself. Force, 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 force yourself to approach. Like, and I, I like having a buzz from alcohol. In night game, when I'm approaching, I like having a buzz and alcohol on my on my dates, my day twos. It loosens me up. It takes takes the pressure off. It makes my verbals flow a lot better. But I will consistently sober day game approach when I'm out and about doing shit. Like I don't I don't. There's a bunch of guys that'll go dedicate an hour or two to just like patrol around and <laughs> like in a mall or something. You can do that. It, it's, it usually doesn't like cause any kind of like significant increase in your your results, um, but just make a hard rule that like say you're walking in public and you see you see an eight on the street and you're like oh fuck and then and again super super quick here as an aside I'm, I'm I'm actually covering this is all good good points but I'm I'm trying not to like tangent the fuck out of my videos. Um, if you like, if you see that eight, like here's what's gonna go through your head. What if she has a boyfriend? What if she doesn't like me? What if people hear because it's the daytime and it, there's not all this club music to drown out your voice? What if it's awkward? What if? Ignore all that shit. Go straight in, because your odds are zero, zero percent if you don't approach. So like, even the worst fuck up possible is better than, than not going in. And it, it almost always is gonna work out fine where she's gonna be receptive and give you her number so make that rule and, I, and I, I've i gotten actually some really fucking stunning girls from day game where, where I was actually and this is even after hundreds of lays where I was terrified to approach because approach anxiety watch my approach anxiety video it's cool I'm just shouting out all these videos um, approach anxiety is like hardwired into our brains evolutionarily it, it usually doesn't even ever go away I still feel it at 766 and I use mysteries analogy that's like a pebble in your shoe you just it's there but you just gotta fucking ignore it completely it's like who gives a shit like your brain is like wired to make you feel that hesitation it's like your amygdala fear circuit like the fight or flight response and I even have social anxiety and general anxiety so it's like even stronger for me than you guys and I I'm like hello approach anxiety like get the, like fuck you like I don't care and you just go in and do it and it's like just be be a man just don't don't like puss out because it's really it really sucks when you avoid like hitting up that eight or that nine and she very very well very realistically could have been interested in you and could have fucked you and could have been a girlfriend or a fuck buddy for months and you pussed out so don't puss out all right so getting back to the topic lead acquisition this and i'll show in my next picture how it correlates quantitatively to the amount of leads you're throwing into the system and again I, all i'm not objectifying women here this this is just the ana my analytical breakdown of you know because i'm talking about like I, like a woman as a lead and all this stuff but like a sales prospect but i'm not I, my purpose is not to be misogynistic or objectifying I'm just this this ties into working volume this ties into this this is like an, a, a total technical overview of game which I think is very important to cover which is why I 
and covering it. So the way you get more leads and work more volume, which allows more chances for closing, with night game you're going to want to go up more with to bars and clubs. And I another reference to a video. I have a, a video that talks about like what, how do you pick which venues to go to. Basically, the takeaway there is you want to go to the venue that have, venues that have the most girls and the hottest girls, so you have the most volume, which ties back into getting volumes of leads. Okay, so you want more with night game and uh, bars and clubs to get leads from that from that. And to me, that's that's like the bread and butter because you're going to have a high quantity of girls and you're going to have a high quality of girls. Online game, the quality drops a bit from night game unless you're like a model. But you can fight actively against that. Watch my video on the uh, my profile pictures. You can actively fight against that using green screen and Photoshop in your online game pictures. But set the calendar reminder at least daily. Preferably even like maybe put it at 11 a.m. and maybe put it at like 6 p.m. And swipe multiple times a day because it's going to be more exposure to the the pool, so to speak. And if you design your profile pictures correctly, as I talk about in my profile or in my my video about the my profile pictures, you will get more matches too. Um, day game, make the hard rule that you will approach any girl above your attractiveness threshold. It doesn't matter if you're at the fucking grocery store. It doesn't matter if you're at the mall. It doesn't matter if you're on the street. The only times you shouldn't do it is if, like, maybe, like, she's holding a hand with a boyfriend and kissing him. Or, like, uh, you're really late to be somewhere. It's not like, oh, I made the rule to myself that I would open this girl. If, if you, like, you legitimately don't have time, um, you don't need to do it. Or if it's going to be, like, some super weird scenario like she's about to get on a bus or something you're like yeah like <laughs> you know like awkwardly stopping her or something you don't have to do those opens but in general open any hot this will change your life I promise open any hot girl you see above your threshold from now on by the way i just remembered i have veal parmesan it's like not even relevant whatsoever but I have veal parmesan in the, in the fridge as leftovers and, and garlic bread it's gonna, with cheese. So that will make a nice breakfast. And I'm actually, I, I just, I'm caving now in this Dominican. Hold on. Nine new messages from her. Tits. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Alright, this isn't even relevant at all to the video, but. She says, I would have married you. Insane. Like, you haven't even had a date yet. I would have mar married... I think it's because I've been, like, sexting her so hard. And I'll, I'll make another video about how to sext properly. And for those of you that don't know what that means, it means, like, talking about fucking over text. I would have married you, but you got a vasectomy. Who's going to carry on this legacy? LOL. By the way, any good books in philosophy that you're hearing? Yeah, like apparently she's into philosophy. I don't even believe that. She's like a little, she has like a porn star body with like giant fake tits. Um, I told her I studied philosophy and she's now she's like taking an interest in this, which they, they like to do that sometimes. It's like a group, it's like a groupy thing. It's like, let me relate to this man by by suddenly being in, in philosophy. And, I, and I've tried this, it's like I've, I've like bought into it before and I'm like, okay like let me give you like a really comprehensive analysis of like frederick nietzsche and um the overman the ubermensch which look that up i think i i have become the ubermensch personally and they're like they're, they're just like staring at you with like this like dead eyes like blank stare and they're just like oh and you're like yeah that, i'm glad i i'm glad i shared all that with you um Shouting out another video. This, this is cool because I, I'm trying to make really practical and relevant videos. Yeah, and sorry for all the tangents. Um, watch my vasectomy video. She's stating explicitly a myth. I would have married you. Incredulous to even read this. After not even having a date. These girls are fucking crazy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I would have married you. 
you have a vasectomy, so who's going to carry on the legacy? LOL. Watch my vasectomy video. I have a vasectomy. I got it in 2014. If you don't know what that is, it means I had a, my vas deferens blocked off so that sperm is not inserted into my semen. So I can't get a girl pregnant. And almost everyone thinks that that means you can never have kids. But that's a myth. It's reversible. My particular doctor I went to has a 97% reversal rate. And you're like, well, what about the 3%? You never need to reverse it because you freeze sperm. So like if you ever want, like I have enough sperm frozen for like seven kids and your sperm is more vital when you're young. Watch the video. I go, I go into all the details. So I'm just going to type to her really fast. Not that I'm going to try to marry this girl, of course. I'm going to type to her. Vasectomies are reversible. <laughs> Should show my YouTube video. Um, and I also froze sperm. So we can still carry on our legacy. So I like I like play into their little fantasies and shit. It's so fucking weird though. <laughs> like I've never even had a date with this girl. All right. <clears throat> so here, that's the lead acquisition. These sources and their social circle too. I'm not going to cover that in this video. Most of you don't even have a social circle. It's not a diss. It's just true. Um, and you should be acquiring cool friends and having a cool life. So you do, do have a social circle. Um, now here's our first element of skill game skill. It's a, this is a skill game. You've got all these leads, these phone numbers, you've gone out to bars and clubs. You've, you've used Tinder and Bumble, make the calendar reminders. You've forced yourself no matter how awkward or afraid you are no matter how awkward the situation like people listening in, in a supermarket for instance or how afraid you are to do this approach at the daytime you're gonna now good lesson like take away commit to doing these approaches you, you've done these approaches you forced yourself to approach and you and you got phone numbers what a surprise you have all these phone numbers now okay next part here we are um Oh, actually, well, this is this first green box is like talking about how you're running the interactions, how you're running the sets. So like, it's not like if it, like if I went up to a hundred girls in nightclub versus someone maybe that's watching this that's a newbie, I'm gonna get a bunch more phone numbers than than the newbie because my skill is a lot higher. So this, this first area and the, these green areas are areas that you need to work on. And areas that I'm going to teach you about, and areas that my product covers. That's not a plug, but I, I cover my product is focused on these green boxes how to maximize and optimize your skill in these areas that can be improved and optimized. So it's obvious the better your game skill, this is a screen box here, the better your game skill in how you run your it's called a set, it means an interaction. The better the better you run your interaction in bars and clubs like again back to the now or back to the reference to 100 opens if i open 100 people i'm gonna get phone numbers from like 95 of those girls if a newbie opens 100 of those girl 100 of the same girls they might get like 10 phone numbers or, or less why because i'm presenting myself as high value i am leading everything i'm assuming all the attraction is there i'm sexualizing things all the stuff not a topic for this video but your game skill will determine how many of these night online and day game interactions result in a phone number and i will go into other videos extensively i promise how you can crush night game how you can crush online game how you can crush day game but and this is not a plug my product really really hits hard on these points and in my youtube videos i'm not going to really give away the whole um i don't know what the fucking term is i'm not i'm not going to give it all away i'm going to give you like tastes of this to get you to buy my product that's, that's not for money or for a plug or anything it's because i really like it's actually like a huge ego trip to walk to it 
to hear like almost every single time a guy buys my product like holy fuck in like a week in like a week's time or a few days time they're like holy fuck my whole world has changed like i'm fucking hot girls all the time and that's really satisfying for me because i spent three years on creating all that content like literally like three fucking years it's like i and i and my mission is to like convert one man at a time into like a real man and into a real player like a really advanced elite player and like solve the problem. Like I'm, I'm here to solve the problem. You've heard in other videos, there's other companies like RSD that are, that are perpetually not solving the problem. And they're, they want to sell you 30 products. Fast forward a few years, they're going to have sold you 60 products. You're not buying all of them, but if they ever solve the problem for you, which I don't even think they know how to do, you fall off as a customer so it's contrary to their business model the same reason why mcdonald's and, and burger king are just like feeding you poison like if they were giving you like organic whole food ingredients they'd be losing a whole bunch of money so why would they do that that's not a direct analogy because like you're gonna eat there either way if you're into that shit but they have no motivation to like give you healthy food because it's more expensive RST has no motivation to solve this problem for you because they will lose you as a customer. Like literally, like, to, when when I solve this problem for guys, which I do all the time, on a boot camper with my product, they are no longer my customer. I'm I'm available for questions. I'm available for guiding them along, and I'm very open with that stuff. Like I'm very real and down to earth with these guys. I'm not like here, you you want a product? Like fuck you, fuck off. Like I never want to hear from you again. Um. I will guide them along, but they never need to buy another product from me again. They never need any more training from me again. It's it. Solved. Solved. Like what, a, like, what a concept. Like, you can actually solve this problem in a few days. Whenever you're ready. Okay. So, now I should have put in some numbers here as, like, a, a data reference maybe, but... Let's say you let's say you have a hundred opportunities in these blue boxes here. This green box will determine how many get passed through into phone numbers. So for me, in my example, it's probably like ninety-five out of a hundred. For some fucking newbie or intermediate, it's gonna be way lower. Okay, but that's this this yellow box here. Now this green box down here is referring to polls. Okay, this doesn't apply to online game. It applies to night game and it, what, for those of you that are not community guys that don't know what a poll is it means taking a girl home like directly like like right after meeting her not like not like right right after but like the same in the same interaction that you're having with her you're taking her home so that means in night game you meet a girl at a bar or club you take her home and this green box is referring to like your ability to close at the house and i'm gonna make a video giving you like the exact I do the same shit every time. The exact game plan of what you do once you have a chick back at your house. Like you bring a hot girl home. What do you do to close? What do you, which means have sex? What do you do to to fuck this girl? Because some guys, and I don't cover this enough in my programs and stuff. Um, in my boot camps, I, I I fix that my product. But I used to like teach guys how to pull, which means take a girl home, and they get the girl home and they. And they're just like sitting there with the girl and they have no idea what to do. Like a lot of guys don't even know what a clitoris is, which is a clit. Like I had a client that was like, dude, I'm pulling all the time now because I taught him how to pull. And he and he came to me as a virgin, like a 35 year old virgin, like World of Warcraft player, all the like, terrible clothes, like Walmart clothes, all the shit. I taught him really extensively how to pull. And he's like, I'm not closing my pulls. I'm not, I'm not getting laid after they get to my house. I was like, what are, you, what are you doing at the house? And like, he was basically like, they would talk a little bit and then he would like get naked and put, <laughs> I'm not even making this up. He would get naked and put on a condom. And I'm like, uh, are you like playing with her clit? He's like, what? Uh, <laughs> like, I don't, like, I didn't even think to cover that with him because I just assumed it was obvious. But I forget that you need to be explicit with, with a bunch of these guys. Uh, it's not a diss. It's just, um, I just, it's just like outside of my reality because I'm so used to um, hooking up with chicks. It's like, 
he's like, what do you mean? He's like, what do you mean? Like, first of all, he didn't know what a clip was. Uh, that's not a lie. Like, he had heard of it, but he, like, didn't know where it was. Like, it's at the top of the vagina. It's like a fucking... I'll make a video about this, I guess. Um, but basically, when you touch a woman's clit, it, in evolution terms, like it's like the head of your dick. Like the clit evolves separately as like it's like the most sensitive part of a, of a woman's female anatomy. And when you touch her clit, it makes her vagina wet and it makes her turned on. It makes her want to have sex. So it's like a key. <laughs> Jesus, I I can't even imagine like from the girl's point of view like you're you're just hanging out and all of a sudden this guy just like strips down and puts on, and puts on a condom, <laughs> like it's like holy shit, um, but when you touch the clit, the woman becomes aroused, and horny and wet and. It's like preparation for sex. So like that's an, an important part of what you should do with the house is touch her clit. Anyways, for the purposes of this video, I'm not really going to go into, so I say here, ignore for the purposes of this video. I'm not really going to go into pulls. So you're, you're going to pull from night game sometimes. You're going to pull from day game even a lot less frequently. Because again, the girls are busy. It's fucking weird to go home with a random stranger during the daytime. As opposed to a nightclub and I, I said in another video too um, like in night game you're probably meeting around like 10 to 15 girls in a night and you can only pull one of them or there's a caveat like you can say you pull like 10 or 11 and I'll make a video about how to pull in the first half of the night so you pull like 10 or 11 midnight whatever you go home and fuck you come back to the club like yes you can pull a second time like almost none of you are even pulling the, the one time so don't even worry about pulling twice so out of those 15 girls you meet or 10, 10 to 15 girls you meet one or almost always if we're being realistic zero are going to be pulled so that's why i want to leave pulling out the key to crushing lots of ass is dates Important, 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 important. That's why I'm like showing you like the machine and like how a real elite advanced guy is, is closing tons of girls. This 13 in the past 13 days, it was all dates. And like, I can pull like a motherfucker. Like I think I can pull better than almost anyone I've ever met or heard about. And I know all the ins and outs and all this shit. But when you have a date, well, first of all, one out of those 15 girls can be pulled and the other, all the rest are leads. So it's like pulls are almost like irrelevant. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't learn how to pull and all this stuff. But if almost all the girls you're meeting are, are just leads, an online game, you're not pulling. Like you can, you don't even, you're not even in person with her, so you can't even pull. Um... You can invite her to straight to the house, like I talked about in my other video, but it's not the same thing. So if almost every contact you meet from these sources is just going to turn into a phone number. The closing machine, as I'm, as I'm illustrating here, and as I'm breaking down for you, is a function of setting updates, which requires good text game, and it also requires you like being cool and high value in the interaction so that she even wants to text you in the first to text you back in the first place and then it's a function of knowing what to do on the date and closing that's it that's, that's all it is like that's not some fucking big mystery here um but just ignore this part down here i only put that in because i get a bunch of lays from this as well but like I just told you, like the past 13 days, I fucked 13 girls in 13 days. It wasn't an accident. I'm, I have a fucking rigorous system that doesn't make me weird. I just have the, the funnel, and again, not being misogynistic, not being um, objectifying women. I have the funnel optimized. 
and I just had a miss last night. I had, I told you, but I mean, the girl was like playing my dick and making out, and um, I had another girl that was like waiting <laughs> two hours at the train station that almost surely would have banged it and was actually hotter. But I made a judgment call because things seemed to be progressing, but she had ultimately ultimately hard lined about being old fashioned and wanted to wait. Fine. No big deal. Still a fun night. We had we had a really nice time and all that shit. But let me reiterate. You will be getting most of your lays from closing these leads you're acquiring here in the blue through dates. Very, 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 very key. And I don't see any people putting out videos like this, which is insane. This is this is like the the bare, not bare essentials. It well, it is the bare essentials, but this is like the core of, of what what we're all doing here. Like some of you, some of you, this may like seem obvious, but I like breaking. This is how my brain works with flowcharts and analyses like this. Um, and I think it's also important to visualize like what like what 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 are we actually doing when we're doing game? Like this is what we're doing. We are acquiring leads. Our game skill is not only impacting the, the, the quantity of leads that we acquire, but the strength of the leads, which means to interpret that, and basically means like how strong are those phone number closes? Like if you're a weak pussy and set and a girl feels bad and gives you her phone number, say that happens like five or 10 times, most of those girls won't even text you back because they were never interested in the first place. So this isn't just about quantity of phone numbers you're getting, it's about the quality of the leads and the phone numbers you're getting, which is influenced by your game skill here in this box. Okay. Like my leads are very solid. Most of my girls text back. Most of my girls want to meet up. For newbie and intermediate guys, it's going to be qualitatively inferior, which is not a big deal. You can improve that, and I will show you how to improve that. Okay, moving on. So ignore this part down here because we're not talking about pulling right now because almost every girl you, you meet, you're not going to pull. You're going to need to work over text. It's true. That's, that's just how this is. So you get a bunch of phone numbers. That's this box here. Now the next piece of game skill, pickup artist skill, 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 skill. This isn't these aren't this isn't like a bunch of like chance happenings. You are directly impacting your results based on your skill. So, um, is like fucking cum on my shirt or something. Jesus Christ. It's like fucking 8 a.m. Okay. This is cool though, this is a good video. Um I'm like quitting drinking by the way in two weeks, so I'm getting because I'm gonna go on a fitness kick with Sonny Arvado. But I'm uh getting in my last my last drinks, which is especially nice for breakfast. <clears throat> Dates. Watch you have you have to watch this video of about framing dates to the house. I make a video and I make a very strong argument, and I've had clients back this data up many times. That you can get realistically seven or eight out of ten girls, so seventy to eighty percent of girls that are willing to meet up with you. Of course, the ones that don't want to meet up with you. It's not. This isn't a matter of trick, but to come to the house straight off on the first time you meet up. So I'm, I'm literally talking about like you have a, a night game set at a bar, for instance, or a day game set, you get the phone number and you can get 70 to 80% of those girls to come straight to your house on the first time you meet. And I watch my video on my channel, it's only 10 minutes. I, I explicitly give you the text to send, like it's a, it's a formula, it's a sequence. And I developed that 
through testing and through optimizing and all this stuff and figuring out what works and what doesn't and collecting data. Huge fucking pain in the ass. Delivering it to you for free on a silver platter. You're welcome. And copy that. So those dates also refers to girls coming straight to your house, okay, which is the preferred method. Because a date at a venue costs money, which shouldn't even matter, but it matters to all you guys. It, it takes up like an extra hour, which is unnecessary. And it, I, I make an argument in that video that I, I think it negatively impacts the close rate because for some reason, so that doesn't even make logical sense, the girl is like less comfortable sometimes to come home from the date venue to your house than just to come straight to your house. And I go over in that video, it's, you're splitting a bottle of wine at your house. I go over how to deal with the, the main objection you're going to get when you suggest doing that. And I'm going to have a, a follow-on video soon about exactly what to do with the house. It's like, okay, you've, you've used my, you copied my exact sequences and all these chicks are now arriving at your house. <laughs> you now know what a clitoris is. <laughs> what do you do next? And I'll, I will cover that. So, <laughs> like when he told me, like, he was just stripping down and putting on the condom, I was like, like, I've heard a lot of shit from clients. I'm not, I'm not just like, I'm not trying to like shame clients because I know a lot of you are like completely naive and stuff, but I don't know, I don't know in what world you think like stripping down and throwing on a condom without like, warming the girl up sexually is, is going to be like a successful play okay so you have these dates um <laughs> now preferably they're coming to the house but if they're not you're gonna be made you're gonna be meeting at a, at a date venue okay which i will make a video about this too and i, and I cover my product to, to the extreme fucking nth degree like you do this you do this you do but the main principles are that you want to have the date close to your house and you want to make sure she has enough time and that she's not bringing a friend and that um, those are the main ones. The, the, the real big one is that it needs to be close to your house because what's happening afterwards, you're going to your fucking house. And then on the date, you need to frame things sexually so that you don't become friend zone or look platonic. And you also need to set it up so that it's framed that you're going to your house after. Um, not not a subject for this video. So just as we have down here in these pulls from night game and um, day game, I'm using this fucking mic again. Hopefully it's picking me up nicely on audio. So just as you have the pulls from night game and day game, which are opportunities for close. This is your only other opportunity for close here on a date. Old school game terminology, they call it a time bridge. Basically, if her logistics are poor, which means she can't come home with you that night, which is going to be true for almost every girl you talk to, not just because of her logistics, but because, like I said, you can't pull, you can't pull 15 girls, <laughs> 15 girls in a night. Common sense. <laughs> I mean, you could. 99.9% .9 of you can, almost never can pull one girl in a night, though. So well, let's not even get into the topic of trying to pull 15 simultaneously or back to back. <laughs> um, by the way, I. I I've closed four in 24 hours, three separate times across my lay count, which is, I think that's pretty fucking cool where I am doing like back to back pull. But point is you're not, you're not going to do 15 Okay, And you're, you're probably not even going to do one. So almost every single interaction is going to be a phone number that needs to go here. So this is getting back to practicality. This is, this is like the, this is where all the magic is happening. Dates, 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 dates. I can't stress this enough. I have a friend. 
Um, we've actually never met, but he, he's another coach on the West Coast that I really respected, but he just got married. Um, Alex. Fuck, I hate when I can't remember these, these things. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what his name is. He just got married. He's at 370 count. That's where he like topped off. Really high, really respect, really respectable. I only know like 10 guys above 300 count. I don't, I don't know any any guys. Like I know one above 400. I don't know any guys above 500 that are that are not lying about the results. There's a few guys that claim astronomical numbers. That you look into that shit, and it's a, it's a complete lie. Um, and lake hunters and everything, blah, blah, blah. Objective metric of skill. Um, okay, so out of those 370, he was like, dude, it was almost all dates. And th this is, and he can pull too, and I can pull really well too. If you go out, like let's let's just use the conservative number of, of, of 10 phone numbers. Or, so some of you that might seem aggressive. It's not that hard to get 10 phone numbers in the night. In 10 nights, you're meeting 100 girls. Maybe you pull twice. A lot of you, being very real and realistic, are going to pull zero out of those 100 phone numbers. What are you left with? You're left with working. Here we go. Go back to this chart. You're left with working these phone numbers over text, which and their leads, if we're being technical. So now all of a sudden, your texting abilities are coming to play. What a surprise. Alex Filinchuk, David Swift, killer product online game texting. I have it in a different video where I talk about how you should learn game. I call, I shout them out. And also, how strong are those phone numbers? That's this box. What are you bringing with your subcommunications, representing your value? How well are you sexualizing things? I didn't even make that into a, a box, but if you're having all these friendly platonic interactions and the girls pity pity giving you a number, you're probably not going to fuck those girls. So when I talk about ability and setting online, that not only applies to how well you represent your value and, and, and how well you command your presence and, and represent your confidence, and your alpha traits, but it also refers to like how much you're like getting man to woman, sexualizing things, flirting, making, framing things that like you guys probably will bang once you meet up again. So that these are the areas you need to learn. You need you need to learn how to do all that in the set or on the online messages, or even backing up further and creating your online profile. Like, that all drives into this box here. And then you have the leads. You need to work those leads over text. Mystery, you are 1000% wrong that you shouldn't be taking phone numbers. Do you guys see now how important working your phone numbers are to, to getting laid? Here it is. Like, out of those 100 girls you meet, you might pull a couple or zero and so all the rest which is the lion's share are going to be need to work be worked here this is really i like making shit like this because my brain is so mechanical and shit and i'm like <laughs> breaking this all down for you now so the key to closing i, I, I will state it again em emphatically is working phone numbers over text to set up dates watch my video on working volume talk about how to do this and then closing those dates watch my video on bringing dates straight to the house which will give you like a nice it will it will bring most of your leads to your house like would, would you rather go to a to a bar and meet these girls for a drink like you can i'd rather they come to my fucking house not not to save money i don't give a shit about that 
because it's fucking awesome when they just like roll up at the house and you're like hello like and 15 minutes later she's like riding on your cock like on your couch <laughs> like would you rather like go it's not like I, I actually enjoy conversations with them unless they have a shitty personality it's not like i'm like oh like i don't want to go have the hour conversation at the bar before i bang you it's just that it's an easier way to do it what all my game is about efficiency and optimization why invite the girl to a venue and spend money for all you cheap motherfuckers out there because most communities are fucking cheap and broke and you need to learn fucking business stop being a fucking loser that's direct it's an aside but it's a, it's a direct uh message to all you out there if you're broke which most of you are because I, I i get messages every day oh i i see all this value in your content i see that you're like one of the best guys like i really like your material i really like your system i really want your product can I, can I get it for 50 bucks? Can I, can I get it for 10? I don't think anyone's ever actually offered 10. They're like, can I get it for 50 bucks? Can I get it for 100 bucks? I'm like, fuck no. And they're like, but I thought you made money with business and you don't care about money. I'm like, yeah, but I, I spent three years developing this. And I have, I'm not plugging my product at all, but I'm just referencing it. It's relevant. I have three price points. One is 297, one is 397, one is 497. The 297 comes all the core information, but it's mostly focused on night game. It comes with 30 night game infield things. You go to the middle package, it brings in day game and insta dates. You go to the full package, it brings in how to run your dates. It brings in how to run your online game and your texting. And your, I think it also brings in like interviews with elite guys. But I, I spent three years making this. It's like, do this exact shit. Get, and, it, and almost everyone gets really fucking good really fast. And these guys are like, hey, man, can I get this for 100 bucks? Like, it's offensive. I, I'm not like, no, because, no, you can't have it for 100 bucks because I, I need to make money off you to, like, survive. It's just offensive. It's like, but, like, what do you, like, think about what $100 can buy you, like, like, what are you going to get, like, a couple video games? Like, if, I, if I'm teaching you how to bang hot girls for life, like, that you'll that you'll be able to do in a week, that, to me, that's worth, like, $100,000. So, if you can't give me 300 bucks for that, because you're fucking stupid, like, like, I don't even know what your guys' jobs are, or you can't afford $300, like, like, what if, what if you had, like, a flat tire or something, like, or... or <laughs> Like a couple flat tires, you need, you need to buy a couple tires. Like, would you would you suddenly just start walking everywhere? Like, no, you you get the tires. And there's also things called credit cards. For those of you who didn't realize, um, but yeah, like fucking like learn learn business. Like, be your own boss. I'll make threads on how to excel at entrepreneurism and internet marketing and stuff but no no one fucking handed me this shit i went i went out and fucking learned it and anyone can do it anyone i, I will say this is gonna total irrelevant aside if you are not rich right now or if you are not financially stable that's a hundred percent your own fault do you think all these people that are independently wealthy and, and working from home and traveling and um having like an easy life because they have money do you think they're all just lucky do you think that just fell into their laps for, for some people it did with their like fucking trust fund babies but most people made the conscious decision to go out and learn affiliate marketing to learn sales to be trained by experts to move up in the world to get for those of you who want to go the corporate route, which I, I did for 10 years, I got two bachelor's degrees, two master's degrees. I worked for Lockheed Martin. I worked for IBM. I worked for Hewlett Packard. I worked for Sony. And most of those jobs pay between like 80 and 120 K. And then America takes, um, like a third for tax, but it was comfortable living. I was able to buy a sports car. I was able to, um, and I completely fucking slacked off at all those jobs where i went in late left early and one of them ibm was complete from home 
so I only worked like four hours a week um, <clears throat> of actual work. It was paid for 40. But like, it's your fault. If you if if you if you were trying to like barter with with some me if you're if you're trying to barter with an expert on this, offering him fifty dollars. That's like that, that's like less than like a meal out with a girl. Like if you take a girl out to like an Italian restaurant or something, like fifty dollars is less than that. And you're like, hello, guru who. And at this point, I'm just fucking showering you with all this free value. Not asking for anything in return. And you're going to have the nerve to like private message me and be like, hello, guru, can um, can I offer you $50 to teach me like an optimized system that you, that you worked on for many years, that you spent three years putting together into a super easily uh, digestible format that I can assimilate this week and start fucking hot girls for life. Can I give you $50 for that? <laughs> like what, what in the fuck? And, and I'll be like, no. And, and, and then they'll be like, can I give you like 75? I'm like, are you just lowballing me? And they're like, no, I just don't have any money. And it's like, dude, it's like, how are you eating? Like if you go to the grocery store, you're going to pay a couple hundred dollars. It's like, how are you eating? How are, how are you paying for gas? How, all right, I'm, I'm off on a huge, <laughs> I'm off on a huge tangent. But most of you in the community are fucking broke. Rather than spending a large deal of your time, like I can guess what what you guys are probably doing: scrolling your Facebook news feeds. That's what most people are doing with their time. <laughs> I'm in marketing, and I and I hear, I hear statistics that like. Like, like, like those are real statistics. I'm like, I'm, I'm not in, in pickup marketing. I'm in, I'm in like, uh, I'm selling skin creams and diet products and muscle products. It's like, I saw a statistic. It's a real statistic. That one third of the time that people are on their phones is with Facebook and Instagram. One third, like, phones are used for calling, for texting, for countless other things. People are just sitting around scrolling, scrolling news feeds, like going down the rabbit hole. And I've done this before too. So I'm not, I'm not trying to be hypocritical. I, I cut it all off. How many times have you guys been like scrolling the news feed and you're like, Oh, let me look at this picture of this guy. I don't even know. And then you're like looking at his other pictures. And then like, you're looking at like maybe his friends pictures or like his posts. And then you're reading random articles. And then, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And all of a sudden, like all these hours have gone by. <laughs> it's really sad. Like it's technology is really fucked. Like it's fucked. It's fucked everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's afforded a lot of things too. I talked about, I think early in this video, like Casanova only fucked 140 chicks because he couldn't fucking work his leads over text. The technology didn't exist. It sounds like... <laughs> It sounds really fucking nerdy, but it's true. Instead of fucking scrolling the newsfeed all day, okay, or, or whatever the fuck else you guys are doing, <laughs> like humping pickup forms, why don't you fucking learn business skills? Okay, I'll, here I'll give you a resource right now. You can start immediately after you watch this video. Warriorforum.com. It's the number one internet marketing, digital marketing forum. Okay, and I'm sure a lot of you know already that internet marketing and digital marketing is very lucrative. It's, I dropped my whole tech career. Like I'm, I'm running a marketing company now. I went to school for philosophy and computer science, cognitive science, and human computer interaction and philosophy of cognitive science. And those are all like, a lot of the, like philosophy isn't even valuable to capitalism. So that that's like, out of the question and then this tech career I had like I, I fucking ceilinged off I capped at like 120k like I will never make more than that and you take taxes out and it's you're under 100k plenty to live on not, I'm not trying to act like a, a fucking um, 
ingrate or something like this. But you can do way better. Like internet marketing, you can make millions. So do it. And you can work from home and you cannot have a boss and that bitches at you. And there's plenty of days where I don't do any work at all. Most days. <laughs> um, that's not true. I'd, why? Minimal work. Minimal. Um, yeah, so go to Warrior Form and, and learn. Like, don't bitch to me how you can't afford a $297 product when you're spending all your time scrolling the news feed and you're spending all your time on pick a forms or, or whatever the fuck else you're doing, watching TV. I don't know. All giant waste of time. And then you're like, everyone is broke. Like, I, I don't know the statistic. I can't remember. But it's really high. Almost all of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Like everyone's perpetually broke. Change it. It's are, are, did all these people that be, that became wealthy and became financially independent? Um, th was that just all an accident? If, if we like talk to like a thousand millionaires, and you're like, hey man, like how did you happen to just have a million dollars drop into your bank account? It's the same story every time. They fucking man the fuck up. <laughs> it reminds me of Mystery's video where he's like, man the fuck up, son. For those of you who don't know, I'm referencing Google, like, mystery advice to men or whatever. He's, like, walking out in the rain. <laughs> man the fuck up. They all man the fuck up. And they all fucking put their nose to the... I don't even know these, these ter proverbial terms. They put their axe to the grind, <laughs> to the grindstone or whatever. They, they manned up. They learned it. They were rewarded. No one's going to come drop a million dollars in your bank account. Okay? Hey, maybe your fucking mother... I'm not trying to be morbid here. Maybe your mother or father will die and you will get some inheritance. You need to make it happen yourself. Enough about that. That's like a... It's kind of cool because I'm mostly trying to stick to pick up, but that's like a kind of a life lesson and a... Uh, Self-help aside or whatever. Okay. Jesus. Uh, these tangents. I mean, I re, I re watch my videos and I'm like astounded about the tangents I go on. <laughs> All right. So that dude, Alex, 370 lay count, most from dates. I think... Well, I, I pull a ton, so I don't, I don't know the ratio of how many I close on um, pulls versus dates, but I close a lot from dates. I would say probably far greater than my pulls. Even though I'm really, really good at pulling and I pull very consistently, I would say I close way more often from dates because, again, and this compounds, 10 to 15 numbers, you pull one. 10 to 15 numbers, you pull one. And like after like a week of this, you just have like all these leads and you need to work them on dates. And I will say again, cause it's a very important video, probably one of the most important videos I will make. Watch my video on bringing girls straight to the house on the first date. That's only 10 minutes. Any, any, take 10 minutes away from scrolling your newsfeed and, and, and watch the video. <laughs> Fucking newsfeed. It's like destroying the world. <clears throat> um, Okay, let's continue. Opportunities to close. Okay, so to recap, you acquire all these leads. The amount of leads you get and the strength of the leads leads to these phone numbers. The amount of dates you get is directly impacted on how you're texting and working these leads. Texting, texting, texting. Underrated. Hardly any videos about it. Alex and David's product for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, go to playingfire.com and it's the online game blueprint. They go over how to text. But I give in my video on dates straight to the house, I give you my exact text sequences. Like, I actually have a marketing partner for my pickup stuff now. Not because it's a scam, not, not even close. 
because we're putting out some we're pushing our digital product like further out there now and he was like upset that i put this out about the date straight to the house because like i'm giving you the keys to the castle like like this this is like a giant it, it that video is like more important than like 10 rst products or like thousands of foreign put like i can't even i can't even stress the importance of that why because it's literally taking like 10 girls that would have met up with you at a, at a fucking bar or a mexican place for margaritas which is what i used to do or whatever and, and they're coming to your fucking house to your house alone what do you think is going to happen next you're going to fucking bang them and i need to put out the video on how to bang them because some of you just might get naked and put a condom on. <laughs> like, like what? What the fuck is that, by the way? So you have all these dates. And I have dates daily. This is how you close daily. This is how I close the past 13 days. And yes, oh fuck, I meant to put a box in. Some of these are going to flake. It's unavoidable like maybe the girl was too drunk when she gave you her number maybe she has a boyfriend she didn't mention and now she feels guilty um maybe she's she was a tourist and she flew home <clears throat> maybe she's a single mom and she can't find a babysitter maybe she um just gets cold feet maybe she just got a relationship these are all really these are things that have nothing to do with you and they're going to cause flakes. So like a whole bunch of your dates, even for me, the, 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 the master at this, and again, it sounds super arrogant, but, but, I, but I am really good at this. A whole bunch of your dates are going to flake. It happens for everyone. I, I hear coaches be like, I never get flakes. It's a lie. It's like, say, I don't even know what a good analogy is. It's like, it never rains or Everyone gets flakes. It's part of the game. It's like if I was a salesman and I, and I had like a hundred prospects and I'm like, they all buy. No, of course not. Like a whole bunch of people are not going to be interested. And, 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 and also like, I just gave you a bunch of examples of things out of your control, but there's also situations where like you didn't present yourself as a high value man or like the set was too fast or like all these fucking variables. So you're going to have a whole bunch of situations where the girl, like, there's like categories of flakes. Like she can like be like, Hey, I can't make it today. Can we reschedule? Or like, Hey, I can't, I can't make it. And, and like not offer to reschedule. Or she can just like block you on the day of the day. Like that, that just happened to me yesterday. And I, that was on WhatsApp and I like texted the girl. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I thought we were cool. And, and she's like, oh, my, my boyfriend saw the, te the text between us, you know? Like, so a lot of times there's these reasons that have nothing to do with you. Like, is it my, is it, is it my game at fault? Because she had a boyfriend that she didn't mention and, and he saw her text threads and she was trying to be a bastard and cheat. Fuck no. Like that shit happens. I, and you guys can call this psychopathic or sociopathic. I don't care. I have like zero reaction now to, to a flake. It's like, I know that's part of the game. I know that's how it works. And I, I did sales this past summer just for the purpose of, um, trying to hone my game skills further. I did door to door sales. I, I don't need it for the money. I don't, I went out in the fucking heat in Texas just to, to see you can't close everything. Most people are, are not interested. And you, you have to you have to have the resilience to deal with rejections too. Like people are slamming doors in your face. People are like telling you to fuck off. Like just like the girls do with the clubs. It happens to me still. It happens to everyone. That is the game. It happens to the top salesmen. And that's what makes it fun. Like do you I mean it would be cool in some regard if every girl was like, yeah, just I think you're the best guy ever. Fuck me. But after, like, it would get a little old because it's not a challenge. 
if every if every door you knocked on they're like yeah like get, let me sign up now and you didn't have to like convince them and answer objections and the thrill of the game as a lot of you already know is overcoming resistance and obstacles and rising up and, and winning that like frederick nietzsche i mean look, let me google it on my phone oh fuck this fucking dominican i want this dominican to detract from the video oh fuck oh she said i know that i knew that the second is reversible ha, ha, ha. i just thought it was funny to say that i'm so excited to fuck you oh my god this chick's really hot i'll post a video or uh instagram picture with her nipples blurred out or something um oh yeah frederick nietzsche i'm only gonna search really quickly because I don't want to. I want to continue the rest of this chart here. Frederick Nietzsche, who's my favorite philosopher, by the way. Um, happiness quote. Um, I'm not going to keep searching if it won't come up right away. But this applies to what I was talking about. Okay, here we go. Happiness is the feeling that power is increasing and that resistance is being overcome. Boom. You need flakes for this to be satisfying. You need blowouts in interactions to club. Like if every single girl was receptive, of course, yeah, we all want to have sex with hot girls, but it would start to lose its appeal. Like the thrill of game and like for those of you that have ever pulled and some of you have never, which is sad. Um, there's like this, like, really intense feeling of satisfaction um, as you're pulling, assuming it doesn't like blow out at the cat at the cab or like at your house. There's like this intense feeling of satisfaction that you have won. And again, this isn't about conquering women and objectifying them and being misogynist but there's this this you you put in you presented yourself you worked the logistics you were fun you were sexual you did all these things and you hopefully trained in advance to, to bring all this shit to the table and now you have a woman that was a stranger like that's what's so <laughs> this is why I, like game is like my my life basically my, my passion you have this stranger who 10 15 minutes 20 minutes before didn't even see you and now she's like accepted you and it, like is horny for you and like wants to bang you wants to go go home to your house and fuck i tell guys in my boot camps i'm like i'm gonna give you the skills and i want you to feel like emotionally how this is gonna be how this is going to change your life. I'm going to give you the skills. You can literally look at a hot girl, like a nine or an eight, five and know in your mind that you have the power with high probability to have her in your bed 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later. Yeah. I do a little longer sets. Now. I do 30 to 45 minute sets. I, I talk about that in a different video. I think it makes it more solid. It makes the odds of closing higher. So let's say 45 minutes, out one hour, even one hour. You're, none of you watching this can honestly say that, it, that you wouldn't love that ability and that power. Resistance is being overcome. Imagine being able to see a hot girl. And I can do this consistently. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do the same thing. Imagine seeing a hot girl. And before you even open, before you even approach, thinking in your mind, like, this fucking stunner chick is going to be naked, like, fucking sucking my dick, 
and writing my cock like in one hour. That's to me that's better than anything. Like I've driven Lamborghinis and like traveled all over the world and like I would still prefer I, I still think it's it's better to have this like hot stunner stranger just fucking fall for you. And then it and then it just continues. Like I'm not talking about with, with more and more girls. That that I mean that happens too, but then it continues. Like imagine that girl's like texting you the next day, like, hey sexy, like you fucked me so good last night, like sending you like a picture of her like in a thong or something with like a perfect ass. And again the skill comes in, you you like ignore the text because you don't give a shit, then you have like, ten other girls like her. And then she's like, baby, like, do you still like me? Like, and they're like chasing after you. I will read the quote one more time. Happiness is the feeling that power is increasing, that resistance is being overcome. And this isn't some, when I talk like this, like, got, just like the feminists try to paint me as like a fucking degenerate and like a rapist and all, all this stupid shit, which is totally fabricated. Other guys in the community, like mostly competitor coaches, will be like, like I'm talking like, like oh, like we're increasing our power, like we're overcoming resistance, like rise up, men, like let's let's be like huge assholes. No, I respect women a lot. I said that before, and um, this this isn't like some, it's not like it's not. I'm not advocating like oh, put notches on your belt. I'm not advocating go objectify women and, and, and just, you know, use them and stuff. That's not, that's not at all what I'm saying. I'm saying when you learn this game properly, when you develop this skill properly, your life gets so much better because you have all these hot women, like, coming after you, seeking your approval craving more of your of your sex because you and i'm going to probably make a video about that i don't, I don't know how i'm going to how i'm going to do that but they're when you fuck really well they get hooked hooked on the on the d so to speak <laughs> so to speak and it's just fucking awesome like i'm not going to beat it on the bush it's fucking awesome to travel the world because you put in the work for business to have all these stunners constantly over all the time every day because you know how to properly work your funnel <laughs> craving you chasing you why because you have cultivated an alpha personality and this is i'm, I'm by the way i'm so happy making all these videos because i'm like finally i had like my pending case and all this stuff and i didn't want to like complicate matters and so whatever this is game this is happiness this is life that i'm not saying game is life it is for me but if you put in the time to learn business you can make a bunch of money that's on you you are consciously making the decision i i, I know most of you are to scroll your newsfeed all day long and to fucking go on Instagram and 30% of phone usage statistic you are making the conscious decision to fucking sit and watch I've never even seen Game of Thrones and I'm not dissing Game of Thrones but it's like an example binge watch Game of Thrones like you are making the conscious decision to play video games or like I don't know what else everyone what everyone else is doing but oh the, the, the forums like circle jerk on the forums all day with the pickup forms go make money in business go develop an alpha lifestyle go to the fucking gym become a strong alpha dude for real that's not faking it find a hot chick or a, a cool guy or a gay dude that is good at fashion go buy better clothes and then fucking travel the world or, or do whatever the fuck else you want like at, the, at that point you're at this point, I'm free. Like, at this point, I can go to any city anytime I want. 
At this point, I can get almost any girl I see in public. At this point, I, I, I have an inundation, which means an excess of hot stunner girls everywhere I go that I don't even have t enough time to bang. I, I, I rearrange things and I, I usually do find the time, <laughs> of course. Um, this, this is what this is all about. This is where you all want to be, but you choose to do it the wrong way. Like, if you want to watch RST videos? Go ahead. Okay. How's that working out? Has it turned you into a, a big badass? No, fuck no. Of course not. They're running circles around you as you, as you buy their products and, and it's just a big joke. Are you are you going to be able to afford a $297 product when you're jerking when you're circle jerking on the forums all day? No. Should you go to a guru and say, "Can I give you $50 for this?" What why don't you give me fucking 50 cents for this? Why don't you, why don't you, why don't I pay you to, to to take this product for me that I spent 3 years on? What the get the fuck out of here with you. Don't like anyone watch this. Don't ever fucking message me again about with these little lowball offers. It's, it's really, really. It's, it's not about the money. It's it's just it's just really disrespectful. Like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go to a top expert in any field, and say hey hey man can I give you like a twenty dollar gift card to Applebee's, and, and you teach me how to be like a chess champion. Like, just don't do that. It's 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 it's, it's very very. And I could name, I could just like spout, <laughs> I, I have them all in my head, who's done this? I could just like rattle them off and, and put them all on blast, but that's not even, that's not even important. All right, so <clears throat> again, you, you need to be acquiring leads, which means you need to be going out to bars and clubs and follow my mouse. You need to be having the daily calendar reminder or multiple daily calendar reminders is even better. For Tinder and Bumble, you need to be potentially green screening and photoshopping your photos to bump up the qualitative impact they have aesthetically on women, which correlates to more matches. You need to be having a hard rule that you are going to day approach any girl you see above the threshold you would bang, which is different for all of us. And again, I need to stress this because everyone just wants nines and tens. Newbies, intermediates, which is 99% of you are newbies and intermediates. There aren't many advanced guys. You need to be banging sixes and sevens for now. Trust me, you have to do it. You don't know. You don't even know how to properly behave on a nine. Like the first few nines I hung out with, I was like. You're so terrified to, to like say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing to lose the nine. You're like your your mindset is just fucked. And when you're running the set, that, I mean that's even that's 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 if you get them to hang out. When you're running the set, it's a fucking tightrope because they can have any dude they want at any time. And there's plenty of dudes that are way higher value than you, even than me, that are fucking really jacked, that are really rich. And I'm going to be very jacked by the spring with uh, Sonny's help. And I, and I have money and stuff like that. But there, there's dudes that like own clubs. There's, there's dude, there's always going to be higher value dudes than you. There's, there's celebrity. Like I've got, I lost, I have a field report out there where I actually pulled two, three sums in one night. That's not a lie. It was written by the dude with the highest. Um, yeah, I can't believe I'm fucking drinking. It's, Oh, it's actually like almost 10 o'clock now, so let's be a little less bad about it. Oh, fuck. Well, I was, supposed to have, I was supposed to actually have a date in the early morning here. Hold on. Mm, okay. Fucking Dominican. Um... Shit. And my mind has blanked again. No, don't worry. I, I know you guys are getting value out of this. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to sound like a scatterbrain. Shit. 
shit. Like totally, totally blanked. Wish I could like back back up the recording and like hear what I was talking about. So I remember this fuck this fucking Dominican. <laughs> um Like probably like prompt some dislikes. I, I find it hilarious, by the way, when, when I when I put out like pure, 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 pure gold value, and like there's like dislikes. It's like, okay, RST fanboys, what is there to dislike here? I think for just another second, see if I can fucking recall what was going on here. Mm -hmm. It was like an important point I had too. Motherfucker. Alright. Well, whatever. We'll just move along. Maybe I'll, if it comes back to me, I'll, I'll mention it. Fuck. It was, I was like, I remember I was like about to just find like a really important point and then this chick's like just spamming my phone with like pictures of her tits. Which are fucking amazing. Actually, I could probably. I don't know if they. Uh, I might ban the ban the YouTube video. I show them. Um. Okay. Up. Let's just move along. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep repeating how. How how getting all these hot girls in your life will make you happy. I think that's obvious. Um. All right, whatever. Look, I'll just I'll I'll try to I'll try to think of it. But so you have all these dates, okay? Which can be dates to your house, which is preferable, or dates to venues, which should be near your house. Now the next piece of game skill, all these green boxes are game skill that you can improve. And I'm I'm actively working on all these areas too. You, to humbly state, because we all. Oh yeah, I said, okay, as I said that, it triggered in my mind, by the way, ne uh, neuroscience aside, I'm like, I should, I'm, I should be labeled like the fucking tangent, man. Our brains op operate on connectionist models. So when you think of something, it causes spreading activation, which is an algorithmic mathematical formula through weights of neuronal connections and then it causes you to think of a different thing so when I just said these green boxes increase your game skill it reminded me because thoughts are often linked to frequency and recency semantic representations are linked to that um, and it caused me to remember that I was talking about oh, there's always gonna be higher value guys than you which I think was my point before now let me remember what I was gonna say about that um, Yeah, just, I mean, oh, okay, like, yeah, I think, I don't remember the, the entire point, just, just be the best man you can, go to the gym, if you're not going to the gym, go to the fucking gym tomorrow, and buy a gym membership, and commit to a five-day workout plan, um, Sonny Arvado has a book, it's $10 on Amazon, it's called The Tyrants and Tellers, he's gone through all the fucking trials and tribulations and shit of learning how to lift, he's a bodybuilder, but he's gone through all the shit. He's dispelled the myths, all the stuff. He has a, a practical, easy to follow, very effective workout plan in that book, in the second half of the book. Start going to the gym. If you are poor, if you are living paycheck to paycheck, which is probably 99% of you watching this, not poor, but living paycheck to paycheck or, or being unhappy with your financial situation, Go on Warrior Forum, warriorforum.com. Um, start reading business books, like not fucking losers like Ty Lopez and, and other scam artists. Seek out anyone you know that is making a lot of money. Extract everything you can in a polite way. You know, don't just 
spam spam hit them up to, to leech value and all that shit and replicate it that's it's that simple which is ironically how you also get good at game you seek out guys like myself and like the other guys I listed in the how to learn game video and you copy what we're doing if if there's guys that have figured out how to make money or how to bang lots of chicks why would you go other places and ask like random idiots that don't know what they're doing in forums about what to do ask us that's why we're here leverage leverage successful people's success and I don't remember the rest of the point from before but let's let's move on um now you have all these dates and keep in mind they came from all these leads and the strength of those leads came from this part here and the uh, text came translated into how many dates you have scheduled okay and as, as I said before you're gonna have dates that flake on you for a whole variety of reasons don't care about it who gives a fuck flying fuck I used to get so upset about flakes uh, like it would ruin my week I would, like I, I, I would like close like back to back to back to back days and some hot girl would flake and like I had been like looking at her pictures and I was like oh I can't wait to fuck this girl and stuff and then she's like this isn't gonna work and blocks me or just doesn't show up to the date or whatever and I'm like oh my god my world's crumbling there's there could, there's a hundred reasons why it can happen I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go off on another thing again don't care about flakes anymore that's simple improve these green boxes your flakes will decrease now you have all these dates set <laughs> hour and 40 minutes to move through half of this chart um sorry for the length of these Th these these tangents i cover are important i'm giving you life lessons about how to make money i'm giving you life lessons about how to be happy i'm giving you life lessons on how like the, to me this is like one of the most important videos in the history of the community and that's <laughs> that's not like a grandiose um announcement or some or, or uh, delusion or anything like that this this is the machine this is what's going on this is what we're all doing and i want to point i i point out before but the, the polls part like yes you should learn how to pull and you should not know how to pull but in a, in a hundred girls you meet you're only going to pull a few so who the fuck cares about polls like really like yes learn how to pull yes pull but you should instead be focusing on how to work your leads for dates and, and how you should be closing those dates. And I give in my, in my video, and I've said this, I think, multiple times. I give in my video on setting up first dates straight to the house. I give you the exact text. You can literally look at the description of that video, type my exact texts, and I give you like the paths of how it can go and what to do. And literally copy it and I have guys copying it and getting seven or eight out of ten girls coming to the house who's who's giving you that in the community who no one not even close you know most of these videos are like hey I'm in Barcelona and today I want to talk about like how to you know how to abstract XYZ that is not gonna to apply to you at all and that you're gonna watch and like it may be a good feeling from and those, my videos are, the, are not like that. I, I saw my very first RSD bootcamp I instructed. More tangents. Todd sent a dude into an interaction, into a set, without us even going with him. It's me and Todd are the instructors. He said, go, go talk to that girl. And he goes in and then comes back, like gets destroyed, comes back. Todd's like, go talk to that girl. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not giving him a game plan. We're not telling him what to do. And really the game plan was be free from outcome and be clear in your intent. And I don't even remember what the, these stupid things they, they teach, teach. What is, if you're a noob and you're in set, you need to learn logistics. You need to learn how to work logistics on a pole. 
and you're just being told to go in and be clear in your intent and be free from outcome, you're of course you're going to get destroyed. And I don't understand how it's providing any value to you except us pushing you into a set. It's just not. So like when I, I taught a program with Jeffy, I was the instructor, and there was an Australian dude that was at like four lay count, and I, I got partnered up with him. But for those of you that follow the community, Chris Parker was the other student, Jason Moss. I'm going to make a video fucking blasting the shit out of him because he ripped off my product, and now, and now he's like actively talking shit on me, even though he was like my biggest fanboy ever for three years. And all of a sudden he's like, trying to say my lay counts fake, just like trying to publicly blast me just because I like actively called him. Fuck. Just, that's not my ringtone, by the way, that was an alarm because I had like this morning date. Um, he's like actively trying to blast me just because I called him out because, because he literally copy pasted pieces of my product into his and I, and I, I will, I will show, I will, <laughs> I am really excited to do this. It's going to be a waste, of, a waste of my own personal time. I will show like pieces of my product where he copy pasted and he's using like my terminology and all that stuff. And he took two boot camps from me and his game is my game. And he, he put out this like watered down version of my product as if it was his own material. And I, I gave him like a huge benefit of doubt. I was like, man, you're my good friend now. I hope you didn't fucking rip my shit off. And I went through it and he did large, like almost all of it. And it, I like denounced him as a friend and like put him on blast in the community. And now, and now he's running around like talking shit. Like, Oh, his, his lay counts fake. Like he knows my lay counts not fake. Like he know he, I was his hero for three years and now he's trying to like fight back against me blasting him. So I'm going to, I'm going to put out a whole separate video about him. <laughs> um, I never even realized I wanted this many tangents until I started watching my videos. But this is all cool shit. Like it, I hope this is entertaining to you guys. Like I'm sure some of you, a bunch of you know who Chris Parker is and I'm publicly announcing he's a fucking faggot. They ripped off my shit. So, hope hope that's hope that was an enjoyable tangent for you. Um, let's see, ability to pull home from a date and close. Okay, I had another important point that I, I totally spaced on, but <laughs> hour and forty five minutes. Whatever though, I mean, you know, this is a much better use of your time than scrolling the news feed and, and looking at Joe Blow's mom's fucking birthday party um <laughs> I, I try to provide like comedic relief as well this is like my real personality this, this is how i act in, in sets as well interactions it's like busting jokes it's like this is what it means to be authentic like i'm not like trying to filter my words or like or filter my thoughts or anything like it's just just pouring out here so that's that's why the, that's what that's the reason for all these tangents actually Okay, let's try to wrap this. Game skill here. I will put out a video, it hasn't been released yet, on what to do on your date, or as, re as referred to in the community as a day two. Fuck, why did I, why did I bring up Jason Moss? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let me. Sorry, I seem I seem like a fucking scatterbrained idiot. Like, I'm not normally like this. I just there's so many like concepts I want to I want to touch on. I had this Australian student four lay count. The other student was J, was uh, Jason Moss, Chris Park. His pickup is Chris Parker. Jeffy partnered on on Chris Parker. I partnered on the Australian. Night one, the Australian pulled and closed. Night two, the Australian pulled and closed. The third day, we're at the hot seat, 
okay and for those of you that know it's like when rst shows their infield footage live and you pay 300 bucks and it's like watching a movie and you get no value out of it and a bunch of it's staged which provides even less value and tyler's like how like how's everyone doing this weekend in game and there's like a room of 30 or 40 guys and everyone's like oh i don't know like it's, i guess it's going okay and the australian dude pipes up and he's like i've gotten laid two out of two nights so far and I came out of this program with four lays with like average chicks and he, the two chicks he fucked in the program I saw them they were really hot <clears throat> and how did this happen was it was it luck was it magic no I gave him practical actionable steps this is in 2012 October 2012 <clears throat> and Tyler's like how did you do that because because Surprise, surprise, not many people get laid on RST programs. <clears throat> He's like, that like never happens. Like, how, like, how, like, how are you doing that? <clears throat> Especially if you only have four girls, like, he, like his lay count just increased 50%. <clears throat> and I was sitting next to him and he points at me and he's like, j Wolf. And I was like, boom. And I, I actually tried to have RST hire me as a full-time instructor after this. <clears throat> Thank fucking God. I didn't go down that road. Um, I'd be like Todd now, like suing them and shit. Well, at least it would have avoided the arrest stuff with the with the setup. Um, uh, and as yet another aside, Tyler Tyler told me like when I requested that he's like, I, "You'd have to be trained by, by me for a year," and I was like, "Oh, okay." Is it because my game was light years beyond him, and I was I didn't want to go through that mess and then to, to wrap that story night three the, the, um I, I got like stuck on this really hot chick and i actually well admittedly i i neglected the student i was only a, an assistant or whatever anyways but <clears throat> um long story short he he stuck on like a, a long set where he didn't screen for logistics and the girl had a boyfriend he didn't he didn't get to get laid that night which it would have been cool if he got laid all three nights but I got late that night, so that was cool. Um, okay. <clears throat> Back to the topic at hand. Game skill, ability to pull home from dates, and ability to close. Um, I will be making two separate videos. There's two ways that this can go down when it's a sex into this results, which is what we all care about, right? This box is the most important and everyone that's going to bitch about lay count. Fuck you. Cause in that sales world, in any skill game world, people care about LeBron James's shooting percentage and his average points per game. People care about Babe Ruth's batting average. People care about poker champions, like lifetime tournament earnings. People care about salesmen's amount of closes over time versus other salesmen's amount of closes over time. Lay count is important. Everyone bitches that I'm the lay count guy and I just brag about my lay count and all this stuff. It's important. It shows your skill. And there's caveats to it, of course. If you're just going on fucking tons of ugly chicks, you know, it's, it, it detracts. If you're in Bangkok, fucking two or three girls a day, or in the Philippines, fucking two or three girls a day, it doesn't mean you're like some animal, like, like skill-wise, a game, just because you're a white dude in an Asian country. <clears throat> Poor Asian country. Just like cleaning house for just because you're white. So I always caveat the late count thing. I say it matters. But it also you have to factor in average quality, time in the game, of course. Like if I just started a game last year, like my late count might not be that high. Age. And it, guys like Chris Wilde, I think he's in like the mid 100s, like 150 or something. He's like 21 or 22 or something. Um, he's gonna get like a high count by his mid 20s, and it, so you can't directly compare age. You have to like look back to like when the community started and when the and when the game started. This is another like super rabbit hole point, but 
Like I was at like 60 count at 27, which is when I discovered the game. And now I'm 34. Chris is already way higher than when I was 21. When I was his age, I was at like like 15. <clears throat> but the game is like more popular now. It's evolved more and all this shit. So you, you can't like apples to apples compare against their age. But it's, it's a it's a relevant consideration. Excuse me, consideration. So time in the game, average quality, age, cities you've gamed in, specifically if you've had any easy mode cities like Bangkok or Philippines, which I personally have not had yet. I, I plan on like going and like destroying those places um, at some point, but I haven't personally had like an easy mode place in my pickup journey. Um, because that like inflates your number. If another important thing is if they actually keep track, because it like if I was just estimating and I hadn't kept track, I'd be like, oh, I fucked thousands. Of, you, you don't know what the real number is unless you've actually kept track. So like, you, it's important if they actually kept track and that, and that they're reliable, not lying, which you can verify by spending any kind of like extended period of time with them in field or talking to people that have done that. Um. Yeah, those are pretty much the relevant considerations. So, so this this is what we're all going for. Like, uh, am I crazy? Like, well, like, okay, let me just be devil's advocate. Some of you are like, well, it's not about the amount of girls I fuck or or how often I'm getting laid. It's it's about like um, finding my dream girl and finding my girlfriend. And that's fine. And I, I have plenty of clients like that too. And like, I may very well end up. I highly doubt it, but I, I may end up, well, very well may end up in that position as well. I've had, like, I'll, I'll lock down with a girlfriend when she's close to a 10 and when she's, like, full package. So I've had, like, some super, like, supermodel level girlfriends, like, nine of them at various periods where I just, and it always really fucking sucks to cut your rotation. I mean, I'm traveling so much that I'm cutting my rotation every time I leave anyways, but... It really sucks when you have like a 10 girl rotation and they all have different body types, different personality types, and they all add different pieces of value and attractiveness to your life. And you're like, well, I've met like a near 10 and uh, we have good chemistry and I'm going to cut this rotation. And I've done that many times. But man, I will tell you, and you, you guys can't appreciate this till you're at my, my point, or until you've gotten, until you've like risen up a bunch in this in this game here. I will tell you, banging a nine five or a ten. After a couple months, you're like, fuck this. <laughs> I, I know it's really hard to believe, but any advanced guy that's watching this can appreciate it <clears throat> and can agree with it. Her value drops to like an eight and it drops to like a seven like i've cheated on I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like a bastard i've cheated on like 9.5 girlfriends that were super hot that were even having threesomes with me because most that's usually another requirement i have besides them being super hot and full package i, I want them to be bisexual so that we can have threesomes and it, it doesn't like put my balls in a jar so to speak like and, and i'm just like locked down hard um and I will like cheat on them sometimes, like a nine five, like a legit nine five. I will cheat on them sometimes with like a seven five. And it's not like oh I'm just like unable to control myself or like, like I have okay, I had like I had like a girl like a supermodel girlfriend in Puerto Rico last year. And she was on billboards and shit. Like she was literally on like the billboard when you leave the airport, like in lingerie. And she was like on TV commercials and she was just like stunning. And we had like crazy awesome chemistry. And like, I actually thought I was going to marry this girl. Like no joke. I, I was like, well, this is it. Like I'm, I'm out of the game. Um, yeah, and she was sweet. She was elegant. She was, she was like half Puerto Rican, half Italian. I can post pictures. She's, she was tall, like perfect body, perfect, like perfect face. And I fucking blanked out again because I'm, now I'm like thinking about like her naked and shit. Oh yeah, 
I wasn't even trying to cheat on this girl. And I like was in an Uber. Like I, I was like, okay, like because because like when you develop this skill, it's like it's almost like a superpower, and you're it can be deployed at any time. This, this is why it's. I'm telling you, when you get to this point, you're gonna be like, you're gonna feel like unstoppable. And this is back to the Nietzsche quote. I'll read it once more, one more time. Fucking Dominican. Don't fucking look at my phone. Like, I'm not even gonna look at her message. Happiness is the feeling that power increases, that resistance is being overcome. When you have this ability, when you, I, I can walk into any public place. I'm not even talking about bars and clubs, even. Of course, bars and clubs and strip clubs. And I made a video about that, how to, how to fuck the strippers. Imagine this, like really, 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 really try to put yourself in my position. I'm not, I'm not like, tooting my own horn. <laughs> like, like I get feedback on my videos. Like, Oh, you seem arrogant and you, bra you brag too much. First of all, I, I, I kind of like bragging. It's, it's like, well, a lot of it's just like funny, but it's all, <clears throat> um, and I, I mentioned before, like the, I like the external validation that I need to get like fucking counseling for probably, um, from the childhood, the childhood trauma I endured for my mother, um, which I hope I, when I make a statement like that, guys, that's a real statement. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to discredit my advice by, by making myself sound like a, a psycho or something like that. I'm just, I'm just being real. It's not, it's not, it's not like I'm you know, like a broken man or something. It's, it's, I have like extreme confidence and self-esteem and stuff now, but I probably still need to like discuss like some of the shit that I went through because it was like hardcore. Um, put yourself in my situation. You walk into a venue, you walk into a coffee shop, you walk down the street, you walk through your fucking apartment complex and you catch out like you meet eyes with a, with a girl like a hot girl i don't even know the best way to say it you have you have like it i don't want to sound like fucking all like uh grand grandiose with, it's like a superpower you 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 meet eyes and you know exactly what to do you know exactly what to say she fucking eats it up almost every time and you bang her and It's almost like being like a like a secret agent or something, like 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 when I when I'm walking on the street, like I'm not even like a, a super physically attractive like aesthetically attractive guy. When I'm walking down the street, they're like, oh yeah, it's just a guy. But I'm like a highly trained. It's almost it's like being like a highly trained operative, like in the military or something. Like imagine you were imagine you're like a secret agent and you were like an assassin or something. And you're just walking down the street, and people are just like, "Oh, hello, sir!" And like, they don't, they don't, they don't know all these abilities you, you have. It's so satisfying, really, to just demolish like anywhere you go. And it's not just limited to bars and clubs and strip clubs and t like in, in Tinder. Like, you, it's 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 like. I lose some advantage. I can, I can, I can like regain some ground with uh, Photoshop and green screen stuff and professional cameras and lighting, but you can't even like give them the whole experience because because you can't interact with them because because when you when you bring all this shit to the table, like they're just like blown away because they never get to experience it. They don't. There aren't many really alpha guys in the world. It's true. Like they. A lot of them have never even met one and so like but their brain is wired to to want to bang guys like that like that's the good part that's the good news so when you come along they're just like boom it's just, it's just like the, it's just like their whole world was just like nuked i talk about my stripper video i'm like you have all these like low value like faggot chode customers that are just like starstruck and that are um, just giving out all this attention and compliments and the girls are just like, Oh, here we go again. Like it's, that's everyone they meet. 
when you come in and you break out of that, they're like, holy shit. It just blows their mind, right? Because it's so refreshing. This is what you need to aspire to. You need to be that man that's going to be like this big refreshing um, factor in their life. Uh, this big refreshing influence. Like when you like roll up on a chick, like on the street, or like you roll up on a chick in the bar, and you really are, and you and you embody and, and embrace this alpha persona, not not faking it like Tyler Durden, not using outer game tactics like lots of my students try to do. But when it's coming from from you because you are that man and because you know that you can fuck tens all day long and that any particular girl is, is a, really of no big deal to you at all in a real way, like not just faking it. And that you can walk if she if she violates you, like like really walk, like I talked about in the boundaries video. Like you can walk from a tent. Like who's gonna walk from a tent? Any of you watching this? Probably no one watching this. I don't even know if I would. <laughs> I would probably be like, ah, oh, that fucking bitch ten like disrespected the shit out of me, but she's ten. <laughs> I'm gonna go bang her anyways. But I'll walk from like a nine. <laughs> Or a nine five, potentially. Um, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Jesus, these tangents. Like, I, it's fun. It's, it's. I didn't. I never even realized I did this with the tangents. But all, all the tangents. So again, are are like entertaining stories or like important points. So maybe I'll I will stop making fun of my tangents and just go on them. And if you don't want to watch my videos, go scroll the newsfeed. I don't give a shit. Um. This 9-5 in Puerto Rico, I was like, okay, I'm basically like a fucking secret agent walking around where I have all these abilities and I'm like a danger to myself <laughs> in terms of like cheating on her and breaking the monogamous bond. I was like, I'm not going to go out to the bars and clubs anymore. And I actually did stop. Like, I'm not going to, I deleted my Tinder, I deleted my Bumble. I'm not going to do online game anymore. Um, I would see hot girls in public and I'd be like, ah, fuck. And all this was, like, upsetting. That's why I don't think I can ever lock down like this, like, permanently. Um, but I, I, like, minimized the chances of this shit here, getting leads. I, I tried to, like, cut cut the lead sources it's, it's like if you were running a business and you just cut off all your customers and you're like fuck you <laughs> right so and i cut my rotation and and, and, and he's, i had like hot rotate like really hot not not as hot as her but like nines like hitting me up being like hey baby like i haven't heard from you like can i come fuck you and i'm like sorry i have a girlfriend now and i, I was like tr literally, literally trying to like be, like be a good man and like I will explain how, how this ended up. Like, I was, like, blocking fuck buddies and, like, the leads that I was working, again, from here, from this from these sources that I hadn't banged yet. I was, like, flaking on them and, like, can't... And it was all, like, oh, fuck. Like, so... It was, like, so upsetting. Not even... It, it, and, again, like, you got, a lot of you think I'm just, like, the lay count guy. Like, I, I don't give a shit about... Like, I was just fucking, like... I just had, like, a foursome relationship basically where I was, I was banging three brazilian strippers and we were just having foursomes all the time and my lay count was not increasing and i was not lying about it that it was increasing because it wasn't so this isn't like oh i was in pain because my lay count stalled as it, as if that even would matter because like there's there's no one even close it's like it's like finishing a, a race with everyone's like halfway through the race I said, I sound like such a fucking dick. Um, but I cut, I minimized these lead sources. So, so there's one, day, and I'll just give you some example, a bunch of examples here how I cheated. I was, <laughs> I was in like a Uber. It's like coming back from like the store or some shit, and the driver was hot, and I'm like, yeah, I just moved here and I have a balcony and 
do you drink wine? And she's like, yeah. Comes up to my fucking apartment, bang the shit out of her. And it turns out she has like a five year relationship and she's like engaged to be married. They're all fucking bastards. Trust me. Um, they all fucking, I don't, I don't think almost any girl is incapable of cheating unless she's ultra, ultra, ultra religious and moral and is terrified of like hellfire. Other than that, I think for all you guys out there that think if you have a girlfriend or you have a fuck buddy or whatever that you think is immune to cheating, introduce her to me, introduce her to Sonny Arvado and things will change very fast. Trust me. I've, I've seen this a million times. Like these girls, cause they're programmed. They're pro they're programmed to respond to this stuff. Like, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how strong you are. I don't care how alpha you think you are. There are guys more alpha than you. I am one of them. Put your girl around me. I'm not, I'm not, it's not like, I'm not trying to sound like a huge asshole. I'm just, I'm just stating like, <laughs> I'm not like guys watching this. I'm going to bang your girls. And it, it's, it's just that in the wild, they evolved to respond to dominance and confidence and alpha traits and like, plus you can do all this fucking shit to turn them on. And monogamy isn't even like a thing that was in the wild. It's, it was like invented through, <clears throat> Jesus, I'm so far off topic. It's, <laughs> so it's, I like watching these. I like, I'll actually like get drunk and like watch these video, these long videos, like the Tyler one and the arrest one. And I'll be like, ha, 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 because I'm like, I'm like cracking jokes. I'm like telling interesting stories. But, you know, as I, as I said, like, if this video is too long for you, go, go scroll the news feed. Um, go put on Game of Thrones. Uh, what else? What else people do? Um, Go, go surf random internet articles, go down, go down those rabbit holes where you're reading about all this shit that doesn't even matter. Watch the news. It's a, it's a, nice, a nice pursuit. Sorry, I'll try to wrap this soon. Um, and I don't remember where I left off, but I'm in the Uber. This chick's hot. Oh yeah, I already, I already said that. We, we fucking, she cheats on a five-year boyfriend. And, Raw, no con. She didn't even ask for a condom. Cream pie, have, have a vasectomy, so I don't need to worry about getting she's pregnant. Off you go, back to your your fiance with a, with a fucking pussy full of cum. Oh yeah, I said I said most of your girls are are not immune to cheating. In the yeah, no, in the wild, like the, these girls are responding to value. They're responding to confidence and dominance. And monogamy, I, I can make a whole. I'll make a whole separate video actually about monogamy. But it's not natural. We are not meant to be monogamous. It's a fact. We we are just not. We the natural state of, of how humans are meant to be is to have one stable partner and a bunch of side partners. That's that's the natural state of things. That's how things always have been. And there's species of monkeys. It's part of our brain. There's species of monkeys. I can't remember which one, but there's one that's like actually fully monogamous. Their brain is built that way. And like they've done experience where they like tinker with that part of their brain and they think the monkey starts like going and fucking everyone, even though it like had a, a stable partner before. A lot of, I think um, Jason James made a post in his group Lux Life. Facebook search Lux Life, L-U-X-L-I-F-E. That was really solid about monogamy. And he says that... It used to be like feast or famine, like the alpha guys were just banging the shit out of everyone and the, the, the low value men weren't. And it was, it was literally the survival of the fittest. Like they were killing, there was no laws. So like the, the, the strong men were like killing the other men and like banging their chicks. It was like, it was craziness going on. Um, and monogamy came about through like societal constructions to like level the playing field first of all so that and, and what has that done now we have like these fucking chode faggots that have banged a ton of married girls and i'm proud of it and i'm not advocating that you should and i don't do it anymore because i've had death threats 
But a lot of these married girls are like, yeah, but I married this guy because he's st he's stable and like he fucks me missionary and busts in like one minute. And so I like fuck them in like 20 positions and I'm like the, the bad boy and and that's who they really want. And, but but they have the family and the the. You know, again, I, I'm I'm making myself off to sound like you fucking asshole, but this is evolutionary shit. A lot of times they don't even tell me that. A lot of times they don't even tell me they have a husband until after I bang them, which is not even my fault. Um. But they they want they want the bad boy alpha player like, and this monogamy shit. Some of it came from religion too. Like Richard Dawkins wrote, wrote a book called um, "He's an Evolutionary Biologist." He actually he wrote a really good book called "Blind Watchmaker," where he explains how there does not need to be a creator. It's a, it's a really solid solid argument against like um, the Roger Paley's like watch argument about how there if you found a watch in the ground you would think there must be a creator and so therefore it's the same with the universe it's like everything's so complex that there must be a creator but richard dawkins like carefully argues that that does not need to be the case um hold on one second what else do you squabble what else do you fucking that was a super hot 20 year old brazilian Okay, baby, see you then. Um, yeah, I, that that's just another book out of his that I, I also think is interesting. It's not even related to what I'm talking about, Blind Watchmaker. But he, he wrote a book called, like, Virus of the, of the Mind, or, like, something like that it sounds like it's like virus virus of mind or something and he talks about like religion is like trying to like propagate itself through just like like missionaries are going to areas that aren't religious and, and spreading this shit and um it's i almost want to like see like the tangent flow like because I'm, I'm off like probably on my like my 10th branch of a tangent right now you guys are like just tell me the rest of the the chart <clears throat> we will get there in a moment i promise thank you thank you for spending the couple hours with me instead of the the news feed learning about the latest viral video or the your friend from high school's grandmother's pictures of her house renovation or something like the, you know the rabbit holes you don't on news feed it's insane It's fucking insane. Um, yeah, it's, so okay. So religion is like propagating itself, like like they want to like keep spreading it, right? So monogamy is very convenient because a Catholic will marry a Catholic, or, or the person will convert to Catholicism, and they raise children that are Catholic, and it keeps spreading like this. And I think, I think I know the exact part of the Bible that says this, I think it's Deuteronomy uh, 14, that says, if you encounter anyone that is a different religion than you, kill them, and they, they explicitly <laughs> stay on top of that, even if it's your like mother or your brother, kill them, <laughs> and like kill everyone that they know and everyone in their town, <clears throat> like burn their whole town to the ground. This is like in the Old Testament. This is like when when Jesus Jesus was a uh, like a badass, like tearing people up for like <laughs> not believing in him and shit. And then it, and then it like reformed, and all of a sudden he's like this nice guy <clears throat> in the New Testament. But like it says, like burn his whole town to the ground, and and the Lord will <laughs> will look upon you with like favor and stuff. It's like really hardcore. But my point, <laughs> my point is, I actually like covering topics because, I, like as I said, as a philosophy major, I'm I'm really into stuff like this. So I like I like kind of like throwing in stuff like this. I hope you guys like this stuff. <laughs> this isn't just about pickup. It's like life lessons here and like scientific lessons. The point, how this relates, 
is um, it's like right on the tip of my mind. I'm like, hold on one second here. I'm like, I'm really like portraying myself as like a fucking scatterbrained maniac here. Um, but like I said, this video is super important. I'll, I'll recap the whole thing in a second after I finish it, after I finish the chart. Oh yeah, the, the, way, the way this ties in <clears throat> is like Catholicism, for instance, Rome, Rome, being a Roman Catholic, it teaches literally that if you... like marry someone that's like not catholic like you're good like you're like they're gonna go to hell like you're gonna go to hell if you stop being catholic like you're going to hell so it's basically like using like this hollow threat of hellfire eternal eternal burning which i don't even want to get into this topic but it's basically threatening like physical pain which which is a, neur a neuronal thing in some like non-physical world that's in the sky because they thought heaven was the stars, which we now know are galaxies. <laughs> I, I, I'll actually make some scientific videos and place them in a separate category or something because I know a lot about a lot of different scientific topics. Um, but, but it's threatening. Like, you have to stay Catholic. And you have to find other people who are Catholic, and if, if, they're, if they're not Catholic, kill them and, and eradicate them. And, and Richard Dawkins makes this point, very smart guy, that it's spread like a virus. And over all these millions of years, or, or however long it's been going on, thousands of, of years, like um, non-religious people are being weeded out, and religious people were being weeded in, so to speak. And monogamy was like a central core component of that because they wanted to keep the religion tight and they wanted it to spread like a virus so that's my point is that that's part of where monogamy came from it's also like governmental control um and the church and state used to be very tightly coupled and this monogamy pre pre presents a lot of advantages for like the state and for their for religion so it's not a natural thing, right? Why do you think the fucking divorce rate's over half? Why, why, why do you see old men on the street constantly checking out young girls' asses? Like, because they want to fucking bang them. Like, all married men want to bang hot chicks. You can't present me one man, no matter how much he loves his wife and is committed to his wife, that doesn't want to bang a hot chick that's not his wife. Especially when his wife becomes ugly. Like modern marriage, and we're gonna get back to the to the graph or to the chart right after this. Modern marriage is a situation where you're dating this woman who is rapidly losing her physical appearance, which is almost all men care about from an evolutionary standpoint, because it signifies good genes, but that's what's attractive to us. No one wants to fucking bang some six year old hag love. Just, just oxytocin in the brain, which is like similar to like an addiction to like heroin. Um, <laughs> I need I need to like rewatch this and like make notes for for videos like what is love and and cover all the oxytocin points like what is religion or like what is uh monogamy and what why are the divorce rates so high. This doesn't go away. Men want to bang hot chicks. Oh, oh, oh okay. Here's here's my point. Um, what what man wants to be with a woman whose looks are rapidly declining, whose personality has become predictable, who? And this is not misogyny. I, I always have to preface this because I like, I know like one day like there's gonna be like feminists trying to like use this against use these videos against me and stuff. So I'm not being misogynist. I'm not objectifying women. But the woman is increasingly becoming like a bitch and a nag 
I'm sure a lot of you have seen this happen with your mother or like your fucking aunt or like whatever the fuck your friends what your friends wives and why is the woman doing that because she's like become comfortable she probably has like totally let go of her physical care for her physical appearance not all girls but you know she's probably becoming fat her skin is starting to sag her, her youthful appearance is like why do you think girls like panic at age 30 they're like fuck like I'm not going to be hot that much longer. Or, or they're probably not already hot. Like, these alpha guys like will will bang me for like a one night stand, but they're not going to like settle down with me because I'm only like a seven now. Or I used to be like a nine or an eight. And, and now I need to find a stable man, which equates to a fucking beta faggot idiot loser someone like Owen Tyler Durden and marry him for his money that's what that's what most of them are, are trying to do at least in the Western culture and then what's gonna happen they're gonna fucking cheat why because they married a guy that is not alpha that they're not actually attracted to they married him for stability, they married him for money. And they married him because they're running out of fucking time. And they're running out of fucking options. And then they're going to fuck guys like me. Especially because I can fuck the shit out of them really well. I'm not trying to sound like some homewrecker <laughs> or some bastard. I'm just using myself as an... Maybe I should be using a different alpha male as an example. And eventually the guy's going to find out and then she's gonna take half his shit. This is our world. Like, I, I, like actually, I'm glad I'm going on these tangents. I'm giving you like a, like an assessment, like a, a breakdown of our world. And then this poor beta loser, fucking idiot. Okay, who entrusted in the, in this piece of shit. Sorry, excuse for a woman who, who only married him because her time was running out. This guy is now going to like lose custody of his kids and shit. And she's, and she's going to take half of his shit and he's going to be like in shambles. And he's not even going to really have another chance to, to fucking bounce back, so to speak, because he never had any fucking alpha value in the first place. He never had any fucking game in the first place. He's fucked. He's done. And you have all these men. What's he going to do? Remember the good old days with this fucking chick that didn't, never respected him in the first place? <laughs> it's funny to even be talking like this. Remember remember the good old days. Um, and that chick's fucked too. She's going to get half his shit and she's going to help raise the kid with this joint custody and stuff. But who wants that chick at that point? No one. So she's going to go look for another fucking beta guy that has zero options. That she can marry for his money and, and probably pull the same fucking shit on him. And these guys are fucking retarded because they allow it to happen. And I know I'm in the internet marketing world where I know a lot of rich guys now. And these guys... Their spouses convince them to not get a, a prenup, prenuptial agreement. For those of you that know what that means, it's like you sign this thing in advance before you get married where it's like she can't take your shit if you happen to get divorced. And like the girls convince them not to sign these things. And the guys go along with it. And then when it all comes crashing down, who's to blame? But my point, my point is... And then we're going back to the, the full chart, I promise. My point is, monogamy is not a natural fact. We are meant to have one stable partner and a bunch of side partners, which, surprise, surprise, is the natural state of affairs when you're a fucking master pickup artist and you're running a rotation. 
I have said before, I, I run six to 12 girl rotations where I have one main girl or two main girls. And the main girl is the hottest one that I have the most chemistry with. And she's the equivalent, without the label, with the equivalent of a girlfriend. Like we go to dinners together, it's not being a provider. It's just fucking spending time, enjoying life. Um, we text every day. It's not being needy. There's so many stupid, flawed concepts in the game. Like you can't text all the time because you're needy. You can't take a girl to dinner because you're a provider. Stop watching all this stupid RC shit for the billionth fucking time. Okay, I, I fuck tons of hot girls. I take them to dinner. I fucking text them back. Sometimes instantly. It's like, I don't need to wait an hour to text the girl back if, if I don't want to. Sometimes I will. If I, and actually, I'll, sometimes I'll do it. I'm, I will delay texting on purpose if I'm, like, punishing her for, like, fucking up. But if I want to text a girl back, I'm going to fuck instantly. I'm going to fucking text her back instantly. And she knows where I stand and, and my value and, and my boundaries and stuff. And, like, she's not like, oh, like, I just got an instant text back, like, this guy's a fucking fag. No. These hard rules you guys try to make about game are fucking retarded. All right, so. Shit. Hold on. I'm supposed to have a date. Oh, fuck. Hold on. This one fucking bitch is texting me in Spanish. I know fluent Spanish, but it's. It's annoying because when, <laughs> when I text back, like the autocorrect is like changing every single word. It's like trying to autocorrect to English. Oh my God, there's, there's this Latvian girl texting me. There's this Latvian girl I'm seeing. That's like a professional model. And... For those of you that haven't been with many girls, like like most girls suck at giving head, at giving blowjobs. This chick's like in the top five percent. Like there's like you have to like use your I'm I'm trying to be gross, but you have to like use your hand, like the woman does, and like not pull too hard up and down and like not suck too hard on the tip and then there's all these classic mistakes. <laughs> I should actually put out a video instructing women how to give head not like fucking demonstrating on a, on a banana or something <laughs> maybe I, actually i could probably get a hot chick to to demonstrate how to do it but like most chicks suck at head but this chick's really really good at it she's like the top five percent um okay sorry so let's, let's just finish this flow chart and i'm gonna i'm gonna recap it and then we're gonna we're gonna finish it. Uh, but really really i I keep reiterating this, and I'm, I'm even annoying myself by re reiterating this so much. These tangents, okay, because I get I get flack about this. Give, give us a five-minute summary. Okay, most of my videos are going to be 10 minutes, but this is one of the most important topics in game, in my opinion. Probably the most important topic. This, this is the mechanics of, of what we're all doing. This is the mechanics of pickup artistry of, of the dating game of how to get laid and this this I'm showing you how I get laid a lot through this and as I said it's mostly through mostly through dates and that that's for most guys like yes you can pull nightly like I can go out seven nights in a week and pull like four of them or five of them but then I also have like 70 leads and I can set up two or three dates in a day and just fucking knock them down and when you have this all mechanized, so to speak, as a system, algorithmically, it's the same fucking shit. I'm sending them the same text sequences to set the dates. And I gave you them. Per I gave you the exact text sequences in my other video of how to set dates to the house. I'm giving them, or, uh, okay, so the same text sequences to get them to the house for the for the wine date, the splitting the bottle of wine. I'm doing the exact same shit when they, when they come to the house. When I used to do dates at the venues, and I still do dates at the venue, I did, actually did a date at the venue uh, last night. I'm, I'm doing the same shit. I'm not like reciting like a script, like it, like it, like it's a play or something. <laughs> but, the, but there's a formula. Very important. There's a formula. 
and I'm following it. There's a structure in following it over and over and over. And no, it's not boring because all the chicks have different body types. We all our conversations are different. It's not like every fucking line I'm saying is canned. There's just I'm directing things towards the sex and ta-da, we fuck. But each each date is interesting. Each new girl is interesting. Like each, even though it's like the same structure and the same formula, doesn't make it boring or repetitive or um, or having it lose value or something. Um, the girl that wouldn't fuck last night is texting me now. Good morning. Sorry. There's like, and again, like, yeah, fucking girls, is, a lot of girls is cool, but there's like 10 girls right now, like, hey, that, like, it's like, it, it gets to be like kind of annoying. And they're all hot, it's a bit, but it's just annoying. And I, like, I haven't even responded to most of the messages. And, since I've been making this video for a couple hours, they're like, babe, question mark, like, I was. You, wait, wait till you, wait till you see. Like I hope I hope a bunch of you actually rise to my level. I'm not being arrogant. I hope a bunch of you rise to my skill level, and see how needy like these stunner girls become. Like I'm I'm running like stunner guy game on them. Like they message me on WhatsApp and they see that I've like seen the message and I'm like not replying because I'm doing other shit. And even if I wasn't doing other shit, I probably wouldn't reply because I don't even care. And they're like, babe, like, hey, like, and then they're trying to, like, send you nudes and all this shit so that you're going to be like, oh, because most guys, like, when they send, like, a nude, the guy's going to be like, baby, oh, my God, like, that's so hot. And, like, they'll send me a nude and I'll be like, Shh. not like I'm, like, above that. Or, like, I like nudes, of course. <laughs> but, like, I, I, I see it and I'm, I'm just, I'm like, whatever. You know, like, because it's like, it's like a little pathetic that she's like reaching because I didn't reply to her text. Now she's sending a nude and they like really hate it when you, when you don't like react to their nudes. <laughs> like most of you probably don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about unless you're advanced because you're not even getting sent nudes from stunners. But it, it, it's funny. Like when you have like a nine five, like send you a naked picture and you see it and like it and you're not putting on an act it like generally doesn't even really affect you that much you're like yeah okay like whatever and you you don't you don't like gush back at her it's the same thing when i talk about a stripper game video it's like when you're not when you're not like starstruck and just like outpouring like this <laughs> i don't even know how to describe these things but it's not a big deal and they expect you to just like lose control of yourself and when you don't they're like, like do you still like like do you still like me or like or or they get like really 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 desperate like nine fives like i'm not i'm not even making this up like other other top guys can confirm this um I'll take some some pills to Heal my liver. Protect my liver, I should say. They're like, what do you think of that pick? And you're like, it's 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 like it's almost like pathetic. Like you almost start like losing respect for them. Which is funny because I used to like chase them and stuff. But the at the core, my uncle I mentioned my uncle now and almost everybody. My uncle taught me, like, at the core, they're, like, super weak and all this shit. And, like, if you fucking, like, hold hold the strong frame and, like, um, like, when you call them out on their shit and, and you hold, you hold, like, you're, willing, you're really willing to walk, like, from a non-faking standpoint. Or, like, you really don't give a shit when, when a 9-5 is sending you a nude. Like, they, like, break. Like... And again, with with the Nietzsche quote, like the power rising up. And this this isn't like this whole like big sick ego thing or whatever. Like we're like oh I broke a nine five because I didn't I didn't like 
gush at her about her pictures. It's just fucking awesome. You here you have like a almost perfect girl that every dude's chasing after, and she wants the guy that doesn't give a fuck about her her nude. <laughs> Oh, sorry. You gotta do it. One more tangent. That nine five. Cause I'm, again, connectionism, neuronal connectionism. It's spreading activation. Algorithmically, is triggering other thoughts in my brain through spreading activation. So when I said nine five, I thought about the Puerto Rican again. Um. So I fucked the Uber driver. I also was like on a. This was last year. I was on a. I was like um, on a plane, and there was a hot chick. So I, so I didn't. I was. I wasn't going out. I wasn't using Tinder and Bumble. I was trying to be a good guy. I cut off my rotation, which fucking sucked because I had some hot ass chicks on the rotation. And I was like considering marriage and all, all, the, all this shit. And you know how that would ended because monogamy is not natural. I would have cheated. It would have been a disaster. Maybe I would have had a kid with this chick. Um, and she wasn't even by. Um, I'm on a plane, and there's like this stunner chick on the, uh, next to me on the plane, which is rare. But it, it, was, it was, I was like, "Fuck, what, what do you think happened?" I didn't even need to tell the story. We start after like an hour of flirting and stuff, we're making out. She's like grabbing my dick under a blanket. I'm, I actually was like feeling this girl's tits like under her shirt like on the plane and there's like passengers and shit like, like spit all over my computer there's like passengers we didn't fuck but in the air like I'm not, i've actually never fucked on a plane i'm like afraid to do that because i don't want to like come out of the bathroom with a chick um but i fucked her after we landed and then uh I cheated like seven times and these were just like falling into my lap it's like oh here we have a hot girl next to me on the plane here we have a, a hot uber driver I'm like just going about my life like trying to travel in a plane or, or travel in an uber and it and these other and the girl the one girl cheated on a five-year fiance and all this shit and that's what I mean by, by being a superpower like he like most of you I'm not making fun of you guys but most of you motherfuckers watching this try your heart out to bang like a five and fail. And like here I had like these stunner chicks and I'm like trying not to bang them. <laughs> and, I, and I was banging them. Just It was just like falling into... Not, it's not like they were like layups. I, I just know what to do and I know what to say. And I know how to direct things to, towards banging them and it... It's hard to just turn that off. Like I, that's why I don't think I can ever get married. Like you, you can't. I can't be like, okay. Like I've spent my whole life um, cultivating this skill, and I'm just gonna like turn off the switch now. It's who I am at this point. Um, there's there's like seven things. I'll, I'll just tell one more. Like I had, the, I was at a holiday party, and I was living in like this this uh, like luxury condo, and. In Puerto Rico, it's like 16th floor. I'll, I'll post uh, po a photo on my Instagram, actually. Um, like, giant window overlooking the water and all that shit. That's not even relevant. I, it, it was just like one of the coolest apartments I lived in. And, um, which also, like, helps, but as a, the billionth, <laughs> trillionth tangent, if you have, like, a sick... Like I've lived in like some mansions and penthouses and, and luxury condos like this, and you can take a like a couple pictures and not brag about it, but be like, hey, like when you text a new lead, this blue spot over here. Actually, it's this spot here when you're texting the lead, or you can even show them personally and set, but usually over text. Hey, I just moved in this new spot. Like, really loving the view, and like send a picture of it. Old school mystery stuff, DHV. What does that imply? This guy has money. This this guy, and that doesn't mean they're going to use you for money. That this guy has like a really cool spot, and then I'm adding in the DJ stuff. Like, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be DJing at these clubs. What what hot girl doesn't want to fuck like a baller DJ? They all do. So that's that's what I present. <clears throat> what 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 do I want to do? Be like, do, not mention that stuff. Oh hey yeah, let's hang out at my place, which which could be like a fucking shithole, even though it wasn't. Or like hey, I'm like an an accountant. Like mystery talks about like. When you present your identity, you want to, like, what's cooler? Like, hey, I'm Joe, I, I work in accounting. Or like, hey, I'm, I don't want to say like J-Man or like some gay thing, but like, hey, I'm some cool nickname. Um, I, pl I play lead guitar, lead guitar in this band. One is far cooler, and, and she, all this shit is imported when you say that. Like I, I tell a girl I'm a DJ almost every time in the beginning of the set, in the beginning, in the beginning of the interaction, because it just imports like high social status, high social proof, access to hot women, cooler life than hers, cool life in general, fun shit, like all this stuff, and it it just imports it all. It's it's, your, it, it's not about being a fucking poser, because I actually did DJ. But I have students say this even when they when they haven't ever DJ. It. It's about giving yourself a fucking advantage. What what advantage do you have with Hi I'm Joe the accountant? None. She might even think you're a fucking loser. It's boring. It's, it's emotionally flatlined. That it's value it's value flatlined or value negative. They don't want to. They don't want to bang an accountant. They want to bang a fucking rock star. They want to bang a fucking cool motherfucker. So be the cool motherfucker, or say you're the cool motherfucker. No difference. As long as you're congruent with the alpha traits, that's the only caveat. It's like you can't you can't like throw a chode into a club and be like, <laughs> he's like, hey, like, I'm a rock. I'm a rock star for for this band and it's it's really cool and like all his body language is displaying he's a pussy like that that does not work okay so you you actually have to be cool and have to be alpha but you don't need you don't need to be a, a lead guitarist or a dj but you can say that stuff if you're if you're alpha so fix the pussy part first i'm actually going to do a guest video with sonny arvado and a, a guest post very shortly in the next couple days about um he wrote a, he wrote a nice piece on how to not be a pushover and really valuable stuff but that's you have to fix that part first hold on this is jesus christ hold on a second postponing my date a little bit here just to finish this this other bitch chick sorry when I say that I don't mean I don't mean to be offensive it's like slang this, this chick's gonna come I want to this is what she said yesterday I don't even care about my apologize from the tangents anymore if you don't if you don't want to watch this turn it off I want to cook for you tomorrow and then fuck you all night and sleep over. I'm like, what do you want to cook? She's like, whatever you like, just tell me and I'll do it. I live with two Italian girls. They can teach me about some, because Italian is my favorite. I told her Italian. I'm living with two Italian girls. <clears throat> um, yeah. So that'll be a nice night. There's like a 22 year old Lebanese stunner chick. Fucking nice, big ass. Nice, like perfect consistency tits. Like, they're not big tits, but they're like that perky. For those of you that have been with a bunch of chicks, you know there's like the really squishy ones, the ones that are like too hard or too firm. And then there's like that really nice consistency. She's got the nice consistency. Um, so 
so was, that would be a nice night for me. I'm actually gonna have to can cancel a different. I had a date scheduled. I have to cancel to do this repeat shit. All right. And for those of you that are like Lake, you just want Lake kind of like I pass up like new opportunities for sex all the time. Like I'm gonna cancel. It's almost a lock with this new one, and I'm gonna cancel it to fuck the repeat. I do that all the time. So 766, it should it should be well over a thousand now. And if we added in like the blowjobs and handjobs that didn't close, well, there's even chicks where we're like we start banging and she's like, oh no no no, like I we should probably wait. And I'm like, all right, fine. I don't count that. Like and guys are like, why don't you count that? Like you put your dick in there. And like it wasn't like a full sex session. It doesn't. I don't know. That's just my own personal standard. If if it wasn't a full sex session, I do not count it in my score, my lay count. All right, so I think we tangent, tangented it. Oh, <laughs> you guys are probably like getting upset at this point. <laughs> I'll wrap this story in like 30 seconds. I'm in this luxury condo. And there's these two hot chicks. There's not really even much of a story. They were just two hot chicks. And I convinced them to go up. It was easy. They were in my lobby. Like the, like the party was in the lobby. There's like cater, catering and food and stuff. And there's these two hot chicks that didn't know each other. I'm like, hey, girls, like, um, what did I say? I was like, let's, I have like, and there was alcohol for free at the, at the catering thing. I was like, let's go rip a couple shots. And like, I want to show you, I have like my, my DJ stuff upstairs, like, and they're like, all right, we go upstairs. We're flirting. I'm laying up, I'm laying down with one on the bed, and like, she's like rubbing my dick, like under the blanket and all that stuff. And like, we end up, we end up like fucking in front of the other girl. And she's like, she's like, I was like, I like she like, I can't remember the way she phrased it. She's like, she's like, I actually liked you, and you're like being a fucking asshole. Like, I can't believe you would do that, like, right in front of me. And I really wanted to fuck the other one too. And I'm like, well, I'm like, come, come join in or whatever. I'm like, come, like, let's have a threesome, whatever. And she's like, no, I don't like sharing all this bullshit. So what I did, and this, it's a bit, this is what it means to be alpha. This is a strong move, strong. This is like no, no, like almost no one I know does stuff like this. I'm not, I'm not saying like, like fucking lots of chicks or uh, that's true too. Not. <laughs> I barely know anyone that fucks lots of chicks either. But like, what what would you guys do in this situation? You're you're fucking. I was fucking the blonde one. There's a brunette one. Brunette one with fake tits. It's like over on the sidelines. Like she knows where I'm fucking this girl, and she's like upset, upset, token upset. Like if she was really upset, like if she was really offended, she would have left. And she's like watching us fuck and she's like I, like she's like i wanted to fuck you like why are you fucking hurt and i'm like i want to fuck both of you like, i don't i don't i'm not apologetic about this shit ever i'm not apologetic about being amazing at game call that arrogance i don't fucking care i'm not apologetic about calling out fucking clowns like tyler Durden. I don't, I don't give a shit i told him fuck you i'll fuck i'll tell you fuck you to your face you're gonna leave them again you're a fucking loser get the fuck out of here and this doesn't make me some, and guys misinterpret this as me being like some giant dick. It, I'm just not afraid to fucking say what comes to mind or, or do what I want to do. It's a very big difference from being a dick. I'm actually not a dick at all. I'm like a pretty nice dude. I'm, I'm a cool dude to hang out with. Like my guy friends think I'm like a, a good friend and stuff. What would you do? I, I can't imagine almost any of you being in this situation. But you're fucking a blonde chick in a bed. The other girl's watching and is like, hey, like, and, and she was, they were both hot. And the, the, the brunette was like, um, with the fake tits, she's she's like, oh, I, I wanted to fuck you all stuff. And I'm, I'm like, join in. And she's like, no, I don't want to. I don't like girls and. I wanted you for myself. <laughs> so what did I do? 
dun, dun. It's like Jeopardy. Like dun, 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 dun. I kicked out the the blonde after I was done fucking her. I'm like, you gotta you gotta fucking leave. I need to speak to this girl. And she's like, are you gonna fuck her? I'm not I'm not making this up to like to be sensational or to or, or to you. I'm I'm trying to make it very clear in all in all my videos and I have tons of of external references to back up the fact that I don't lie about any of this shit. And I'm like, you need to leave. And I, and I was like kind of rude about it too, because I because in my mind, here here's what I here was my thinking. You call it selfish or or crazy or, or whatever you want to call it. In my mind, I'm like, okay, I already fucked the blonde a bunch. I want to fuck the brunette now. How do I win over the brunette in a non-pussy way? Of course, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm so sorry for fucking this girl in front of you. Because what's that, what's what's that gonna do? She's it's gonna make her leave. She's gonna be like, oh, he's a fucking fag. He's a pussy. So I said to the blonde, like, you need to leave. I need to speak to this other girl. And the blonde's like, she's like, really? Like, you just fucked me and you're like, you're going to now, like, be with her? I'm like, I need to speak to her. You need to leave. And she's like, I don't know. I'm not leaving. Like, all this shit. And I, I didn't make it, like, very confrontational. I was like, listen, go back down to the party. I'm going to speak to this girl. And I will come find you after and we will, and we will talk. Keep in mind, like, I just banged her. And she was still kind of, like, pushing back and, like, not physically pushing back. But, like, and, I, and again, this is, I'm not trying to make this sound like a big asshole scenario. It really wasn't. I was just, like, laying down the line, like, yes, I was, like, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed like, having sex with you just now. Let me speak to her because she's upset. I want to speak to her in private. And of, of course, my agenda was to bang the brunette. And, and she's like, are you going to bang her? She's like, are you going to fuck her now? And I was like, I don't know. And of course, I, I really wanted to. And, and I ended, I actually ended up doing it. But I, <laughs> I'll get to that part. I just kind of like spoiled the the uh, the revealer or whatever. And... <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm curious how many of you are like still watching at this point because it's like I made this video to um, go over the, the structure and mechanics of game. I'm just like story upon story upon story. But uh, I mean they're entertaining stories and it's, I'm, hope, I'm hoping you guys are getting value as everyone likes to refer to it from these these tales so <laughs> okay long because i want to get back to the flow chart long story short um the blonde leaves like but she's like you better not fuck her like don't fuck her she's like i'll be so mad if you fuck her leaves the brunette's like so turned on that i kicked out the blonde like for her even though i just basically like really disrespected her banging it <laughs> like literally banging another chicken fart <laughs> This is what it means to be alpha. Like, I'm not again. I'm not, I'm not trying to set a bad example. Like, go, like go around and be a huge asshole. Go around and be a huge dick. It's it's being in control of these situations. Like, and probably one of the biggest components is being unapologetic. And what that means is, I in my mind did not apologize to the brunette like for banging a blonde chick in front of her because I wanted to do it. And I didn't really apologize to the blonde chick for kicking her out. I'm just like, I need to speak to this girl. You have to leave. So I, what, what happened was I, I closed the door. The brunette starts fucking blowing me. I fucking railed the shit out of her. It was awesome. Like if she was even like a much better fuck than the blonde. And I think she was like really, really into it because, because of me like making a strong, a strong move kicking out the the blonde um <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So, so the point of the story was i had a nine five girlfriend at this point that was like busy that night that couldn't come to be my date for the party and here i am like railing these two chicks from my building and then um after the brunette i, I ended up like bringing the blonde back again and and, and banging her the whole night like 
and she slept over and all this shit because she, cause she was jealous. Like, I'm not even sure how to like express the lesson here because this is so far removed from what you're all doing. Like, like you guys would be the the guys like spam. And I'm not making fun of you. It's just that you've been misled from from RSD and stuff. You guys would be the guys like spam approaching at the party, like like burning the party to the ground. Like, let me talk to every single girl with a fancy, gamey, cheesy opener and you know be desperate as fuck and like hopefully like get a phone number i don't i don't that's basically what you would be doing I, w I wasn't like i wasn't like burning burning the party to the ground like they were the two hottest chicks and i just well actually i rolled up on one first and then chatted a bit and then i went and roll up on the other one well i got the first one's phone right rolled up on the other one chatted a bit and then I introduced them to each other. Not, I wasn't trying to have a threesome. It was, I was just being a social, a social guy. And everyone at the party was a huge fucking loser. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I, that's that's pretty much the case everywhere. Like in the clubs as well, the bars. There's, there's these guys, like there's these these guys with like fucking bow ties. So it's, like, it's like Tyler with a scarf. Like, ima like imagine Tyler was there with his scarf you know being like hey guys i'm from hollywood like all this shit and like they wouldn't respond well to that they would be like what a fucking idiot <laughs> it, it was just, it, it, it was very fucking normal and natural this is what they want they want a normal natural cool guy that has principles that is actually alpha that is not faking it like tyler that makes things happen like I, I said let's go up to my fucking place what do you think they thought was going to happen oh we're just we're just going to go up there and hang out no they fucking were secretly hoping that i was going to fucking rail them out maybe they were a little unsure if it was going to go down because there's two of them in front of each other and i didn't even let that stop me i fucked one of them right in front of the other and i fucked the other one after i kicked the first one out not rudely but authoritatively and then i fucked the other one again and and she knew by the way the blonde came down and I, I was like holding the brunette's hand and like i was making out with her and shit like down in the in the, the lobby and the blonde was like watching this even though she had just gotten banged out and it turned out the blonde had like a boyfriend like these girls are so it's so out of control and i well i had a girlfriend too but now i just sound like a fucking huge asshole <laughs> tales from the like there's i have like a billion stories like this and the the blunt but this is how women operate this is you won't you don't hear this shit in the videos when you see tyler like cutting away to like scenes of like chicago and all this shit. <laughs> this shit and he's like what i want to talk to you today about is like the concept of love and like and it has no impact at all on anything that you're doing or it's not going to help you whatsoever and, and people walk away being like yeah <laughs> like tyler like again as i said before like, you don't like me these tangents you don't you don't like this extremely practical practical actionable advice don't unsubscribe fucking shut off my video go back to the rst stuff as i said as i've seen a million times how's that working out how's that working out for you you guys are all crushing it now <clears throat> you've watched your hundred your hundredth um oh fuck it's like 60 messages like this is so anno like this is so annoying. Like you have like the reverse problem when you get too good at this. It's like I'm not I'm not trying to like toot a horn or something here. It like literally is like so annoying. Like I don't even want to look through all these messages. Like the more like the more the more fucking leads you bring in here, and the tighter your shit is here with the strength. And the ability to acquire them 
and the tighter your shit is here. Like all these green areas are really, really tight for me. So here I am at this pink part where I have a whole bunch of hot chicks blowing up my phone, which is actually annoying. Like, be, like early on in the game, I was like, oh, like I hope this one hot chick replies. It's, you can call that abundance and scarcity. It's whatever it is. Terms are stupid. It's just annoying. Like, and there's like leads I'm working that, that are like sexting and stuff. It's like, but, but okay, this is actually a lesson. And we, we have to absolutely go back to the flow chart to finish this. There's a lesson. I'm looking, there's hot chicks sexting me. There's fuck buddies flirting and asking when we can hang out and stuff. And I'm in Portugal. So I'm using WhatsApp. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's like an alternative to text messaging. It's like free international. It's like through data instead of SMS. And you can see it shows your last time online. So like they're seeing me come online. And it's just. It's just this fucking flood. It's basically what you would see on a, on a hot girl's phone, which is kind of cool that I've, I've like arrived at that point on like the, the male side. Just, just all this fucking spam and garbage and shit. And I'm doing other shit right now. I'm making this video. And so I'm not replying to them. And they see that I've been online and then, I, and then I'm ignoring their, ignoring their message. And one of them is <laughs> doing, like sending the nudes. And what, what, what does that convey? This is not an, I'm not doing an outer game tactic. Like this is what, I, this is the lesson. I'm not, I'm not like, okay, how did I get, well, first of all, how do I even get in this position? I optimize all these green areas. That, that's how I have all these stunners blowing up my phone now. But now I'm, now when, I, when they're blowing up my phone, am I, am I applying an outer game tactic to purposely ignore them? I, I will purposely ignore if they fucked up and I'm, I'm like punishing them, right? If I'm like setting a boundary because I'm not, I'm not going to reply back to them if, they, if they're being a fucking cunt or, or fucking up, right? Right now I'm not applying an outer game tactic. And what, what does this convey to them? This is the lesson. Again, not an outer game tactic. This is not a, like a strategy. It's just coming from who I really am. There's, I'm trying to express in a bunch of my videos. There's a difference between like coming like something coming from who you are versus faking something through an outer game tactic. Tyler Durden, as I showed in the video with the, all the people hating on the, the attractiveness of the girl, is not an alpha male. He's a loser. And I talked about in my video specifically about him, about why he's a loser and why he fakes in field and he's full of shit and all this other stuff, why he's misleading you. But with this girl, she's like, he's a fucking, he's a two. He's a, he's fake. He's mid... I didn't prime her to say anything. I didn't. I didn't instruct her. It's very clear that she that she's being authentic about what she's saying. And so in this situation, I'm not like this is an outer game shit where I'm trying to like like play them and stuff. It's just like a bunch of overload. Like they're overloading my phone <laughs> with messages, and they see that I'm coming online. And like some of them will like actively check like. Has he replied to me like a like a needy newbie pickup dude would do, and they see that I've been online and then and then I haven't even. For those of you that know what WhatsApp is, once you look at the message, it like blue checks it. It's like once it's been delivered, it's like these like gray checks, and then once you've looked at it, it's blue checks. And I haven't even opened most of these text threads that they're spamming at me. And if I did, it would turn a blue check on their end, so that they see I've been online and I'm not even looking at their message. Who does stuff like that? Stunner girls. Why? Because they're getting blown up by a whole bunch of dudes. And because they don't give a fuck. They're not like, oh, I need to instantly reply to this guy. Even if you're high value, they're not like, oh, I need to instantly reply to this guy. And I don't need to instantly reply to them. And, and, they're, and some of them are like, double and triple texting me because they see I'm online and I'm not even looking at their messages. So they're like, why, what is he doing? Like, cause no guy's doing that. And again, I'm not, I'm not doing this as a tactic to separate myself from these guys. I just really don't even care. 
it's it's actually like I reverse care like it's like annoying like I, like I'm like ugh like I don't even want to like cycle through all this this they're being needy like like the, <laughs> it's it's hilarious at this point like like when stunners are being needy to you it's like hilarious <laughs> like it's a great position to be in when, when you have like hot chicks being like why aren't you replying like babe do you still like me like hey look at this nude and I, <clears throat> or like what like when can i when can i get fucked really they don't, they don't say it like that but like when can i fuck you again like when, like when can we have more fun because you because you bang because you gave them the best sex of their life like i've perfected my sex game where i consistently just fucking plow the shit out of them and again, I worked on that just like I worked on business, and just like I worked on game, and I perfected it. <laughs> and I joke with a lot of them, like this is going to be the best sex you ever had on the first try, and it almost always is. <clears throat> I would like to say it always is, but I, don't, I, I can't. I don't. I don't have access to all their sexual experiences, but I but I rock them hard, <laughs> like being straight up. I'll, I'll be like, what's the most you ever orgasm in a session? Oh, five, six, ten, twelve. I'm like, okay, we're gonna beat that right now, and we beat it. And they're like, oh my god, and then they want more, and they're hitting me up, and I'm I'm like too busy to even bang them again because I'm banging other chicks. And 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 meanwhile, they have like all these fucking needy losers being like, hey, you there? Do, like doing what they're doing to me. It's like a it's it's basically like a value hierarchy, like a value chain. Like, you have these, like, fucking loser beta males, pussy fucking idiots that probably rolled up weak, probably said, like, on the street, like, it, first of all, like, hardly any guys are even approaching. Maybe, maybe there's, like, some dude that came up on the street and was like, hey, can I get directions to sell it, to, like, an indirect fucking faggot, pussy bullshit. And the chick's like, oh, yeah, I guess. And then he's like, oh, by the way, can I get your number and we can maybe go out sometime? And then she gives the number out of pity or she feels bad. And then maybe there's like some hot guy she like matched on Tinder. And he's like, like, hey, babe, like I'm at the gym. Like, uh, like when are we going to hang out? And like, she, she's like, oh, he's trying too hard. Or like some other kind of low value behavior. And just because he's big physically doesn't mean shit. And all these guys all these guys are hitting her up and she's looking through her texts like oh i don't even want to open these like this is annoying and then she's like i wish i uh, like, like i wish i could fuck that one dude that like fucking railed the shit out of me uh, i've literally like seen girl like this one girl the brazilian stripper i was seeing in portugal here i, I cut her off because she was out of control it was like a foursome relationship with her two poor brazilian friends um all strippers she saved me her phone is like my best sex ever and she's like a really hot chick but what but what that hot chick is not not the stripper what what that hot chick in this example is thinking is like fuck like i want to fuck that guy again like he, he railed the shit out of me he seems like he does not give two flying fucks if if i ever texted him again or left him which is how it needs to be for real not as an outer game tactic um he doesn't even give a shit about replying to me or or like complimenting my <laughs> my nudes <laughs> and so she's like i'm the i'm the guy on her mind i'm the guy that she and and, and then and then you got me at the top and and i'm and i'm gonna that's not a, that's not a fucking I'm not trying to brag. I'm just, this, is, this is just how it is. You've got me that sees her messages, and I'm like, ugh. And she's hot, of course. Like, I'd love to bang her. Like, I, I would probably like jerk off to her pictures at, at any time of the day if, if I wanted to. <laughs> like, like, she's like super hot, like big tits, like juicy ass, flat stomach. But I really don't care like when i see her like again like i'd like to see her again sometime soon but i, I don't need to instant reply not as an outer game tactic just because i don't care 
there's other there's all these other there's other there's all these other fucking hot girls that's that's the thing here's the thing there's all these other hot girls that are blowing the phone up that are some of them send nude they're not all sending nudes <laughs> um And I, I have like new like there's like new dates like I have I have a date tonight with it here I'll, I'll I'll show this one I have a date with the chick Let's see <sighs> hold on my apologies fuck am I gonna be able to find it um here I sent it to, I sent it to Alex Villanchek let me show let me look in our thread here um. Oh, well, here's here's the one I closed last night. I'm gonna put this on my Instagram. Let me see how this comes up. I don't know if you guys can see this, there's like a there's like a Claire or something. Uh, it looks on the screen. It looks like there's like a Claire. Hop on type body. Derailed the shit out of her. Type pussy. Um, no, it was two nights ago because last night, I had 13 in 13 days on the last night. I, I fucking missed with the stupid old fashioned bitch girl. Um, all right, here's the here's the one for tonight. So, this is like, uh And she has a nice body. I don't know how easy it is to tell. Um, but she has like killer eyes. Well, here, first of all, here's another picture of her body. But she has like killer eyes. Let me show you the eyes. She's like a 20 year old Brazilian chick. It's like perfect. Like, I'm gonna fucking suck the shit out of your dick eyes. But I got shit like that, and every day is like this. Every fucking day is like this. Again, I didn't close 13 and 13 days by accident. I didn't get to 766 by accident. I'm following this this funnel here. Um, but my point regarding this, this chick is why the flying fuck would I give a shit about some stunner I banged last week? That, as I said before, like, as you fuck the same stunner over and over and over, like, she drops from like a nine five to like a nine, then to like an eight five. I I think that's like a genetic, uh, evolutionary thing as well. Like for some reason, it, it's really strange because like in the in the beginning, you're like, wow, this is like such a hot chick, and after you bang her a bunch of times, you're like, I don't even give a, f a fuck anymore about this chick. I, I want to fuck like a new seven five or eight. And a lot of you cannot relate to that at all. But that's that's the real real truth um what's my point <laughs> yeah so that, that's something you have to look forward to when, when, once your game is good enough to bang a nine you can look forward to her dropping into the the eight and seven range over time <laughs> so yeah go go get the nine go get those go get those nines um but yeah like Talk about the, the hierarchy thing, and then <laughs> I literally am committing to going back to the flow chart because <sighs> the tangents, the tangents, the tangents. Yeah, okay, the hierarchy thing. Why would I need to insta reply to some stunner chick? when there's a whole bunch of other stunner chicks why would i need to, to compliment her on her nudes which, which i would never even do in the first place unless i was just like flirting back like oh like sexy babe and like send her a picture of my cock or something um why why would i blow off plans with, like like she's like like a low priority for me now even though she's hot I, I will like cancel plans on her and shit to like go hang. I will like cancel plans on her like go hang out with my guy friends. I don't give it. 
I don't give a shit. And like that that's the reason why why I keep her. And I'm gonna make a video on how to build a rotation and keep a rotation. <clears throat> and I know this this I'm, I can see the time. This video is three hours and sixteen minutes at this point. And I'm gonna get all this hate in in the in the comments like Keep your videos short. Most of my videos will be 10 minutes, but sometimes I want to go on like these like long fucking stories. And but there's a bunch of lessons here. I'm te I'm I'm literally explicitly, and I don't know who's still around it at three hours and 16 minutes. I I would love to watch something like this if, if other guys are putting shit out like this. It's like fucking player warrior stories, like and like this this analytical dissection of like the game funnel and all that stuff. I, I think this is really good. <laughs> Not tooting my own horn. Maybe I like it because I'm, I'm making it, but... Um, I'm excited to, to quit drinking, by the way, because this, this shouldn't be happening at, before noon. Okay, the, 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 the real lesson here is what like what we all want stunner girls to chase us we all want stunner girls to like fall in love with us we all want lots of stunner girls in our lives why is this stunner girl cemented in my life is it because i'm texting her back right away no is it because i'm avoiding texting her back right away as an outer game tactic no is it because I'm, I'm too cool for her. no like all this all this is authentic I just genuinely do not give a fuck and it's not I'm not faking not giving a fuck I just really don't and I'm, I'm being honest here I really don't like and as I said I think of course I would love to, to smash the shit out of her again like she was a good bang she's hot like she hasn't dropped into the eight and seven range yet even because I haven't banged her enough yet But I just don't care. But um, when you meet, like when you follow, okay, we'll tie it back into this. When you when you follow this, you will have a whole bunch of hot girls. Not only in the pipeline. Here's the pipeline. Leading up to the date, it's the pipeline. It's, these are the active leads you're working. But you will have a whole bunch here in the rotation section, and you just will not give a fuck. And it's hard. It's hard for a lot. Like for those of you that haven't banged a nine or like that, that have no rotation and all stuff, you can't. You can't probably even relate to what I'm saying, because you're like, dude, I would, like if I got a nine point five, I would, you know, I'd I'd be like so receptive to her. And you, that's why you would not keep her, is because she means so much to you and it's such a big deal to you. She she's getting blown up constantly by all these fucking dudes that are just thirsty and that are like just trying to like just get one opportunity to meet her and she and meanwhile she's texting the alpha guy me wanting to get fucking railed out because I, I banged the shit out of her but also because she can feel all the alpha presence and that's what she's attracted to and my phone's getting blown up just like hers like i am the i am the female 10 now as fucking weird as that sounds, it's like <laughs> they're they're all blowing up my phone. They're all like, "When can I see you?" Like, "Babe, like, are you there?" Like, <laughs> like so, <laughs> like some of these text threads, it, it it really blows my mind how needy they get when you just don't care. But you have to bring it's a lot of you will like try to replicate this and like you'll you'll get a hot girl's number and and then you'll be like, "I'm not gonna." I'm not going to hit her up because I just don't care. Again, it's an outer game tactic, but you don't have the value to bring to the table. You're not a you're not a man. You're a fucking fag. You're a pussy. She's not into it in the first place. It, may, it might have been a pity number. And when you if if well, first of all, if you got it, it's, it'd be extremely hard for you get to get the date. But if like giant if you fucked her. It would be shitty sex. You probably you probably could not handle handle mentally. <laughs> I'm, I'm being. This is all real. This is all really, 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 really shit. 
you could not handle mentally in, in terms of like how, how quick you, you're, you're going to bust your nut because her body is so hot. Like you're going to come in like 30 seconds and you probably don't have much sexual experience and you're going to fuck her in like missionary and her on top and doggy style and that's it. And she's going to be underwhelmed and she's probably not going to talk to you anymore. And all your sub communications and, and, and behavior in person is going to be super fucking weak. And it, it was, it used to be for me too. You have, you have to learn how to do it right. Like I, I used to be in the presence of nines, like in my first, my first experiences with nines. And I would be like, holy shit. Like, I, I don't want to go back to the world of sevens and, and, and eights. Like, how, how do I not fuck this up? How do I, what, what do I do? What do I say? Like, what did she think of the last thing I just said? What, what should I say? What, what should I do next? What should I say next? Did she just notice me? Like, do the, and the girl is looking at you like, they, I told you they pick up on this shit quick, quick as fuck. Like they're, they're, they're wired. They're going to look at you. Look at the girl in the, in the video with me, with me that is talking about Tyler. She looks at him, instantly sizes him up, low value, loser, two out of ten, faking, like fraud, like all these are all like the key takeaways from that. And it's getting the videos getting dislikes and shit because from the fanboys don't give a shit. If you hang out with a nine and you fucking just pussy the fuck out, which is what almost all of you would do because you can't handle it. You, you, like I said, you wouldn't even get the opportunity in the first place, most of you. Because you're going to pussy the fuck out in the interaction. You're going to roll up a week. You're going to you're gonna put her on a pedestal. You're going you're gonna to treat the interaction differently because she's so hot. You just can't handle it. It's like in, the guys in the strip club that are, that are starstruck by, the, by a naked chick on you. If you can't handle a naked, perfect-looking girl sitting on you, you've got some work to do on yourself. If you can't fucking hold your ground, <clears throat> call them out on their shit, You've got some work to do on yourself. Once you are, become a man, once you become high value, once you, and I will teach you all this shit in my, in my videos for free. You know? It's like my, my gift to the world here. But once you can fucking carry yourself correctly, they will respond to it. Boom. Now you're going to get a solid phone number. Once you can conduct yourself properly on the date and not pussy the fuck out because you have a hot girl in your presence, you might bang her. Once you have sexual experience and have taken the time, I have a video about how to make a girl come in 10 seconds. Watch that. That's a nice trick. Literally, literally like a girl with, with no foreplay, with, with it's not even wet. I, I can literally, and I've stopped watched it. <laughs> Sounds fucking weird, but with multiple girls, I've stopped watched it. You can make her come in 10 seconds, and I show you exactly how to do it. It's not it's not a, a marketing pl Like, guys are like, how is this possible? Like, is, is this mar marketing? I know tons of people, friends of mine, that are doing the same thing, that, and it works. I know tons of people that have watched the video and are replicating it. And they're, like, messaging me, like, this works. So, do it. Like, stop being a fucking retard. Um, but once you rock the shit out of that nine. Okay. That, so you get the skills to, to rock it and set. Get the skills here to work the lead for the date. Um, get the skills to actually get her home and, and to close it at the house, which is the most important part. Closing. People are like, oh, Lake County, that's my Lake County. You have, all, you have all these guys running group meet, like moderators from the, the group meet threat. Like even in New York City, which is like giant city, you have like these like moderators with like three lay count, four lay count. And they're like flaming me and dissing me when I come into the group. Because they're like, you're a lay count guy. Like no one cares you're at 750 or and this was like last year. So it was like 600. Like no one cares. I'm like, okay, you give, like you give the advice. Fucking loser. Like. You've been with four girls, like, we're, we're all ears.
and, I, and I'll actively like fight, like fight back at them, and they'll like kick me from the group. And it's like, like it's like I was in here like ready to give you guys all this like free advice as like charity, charity work here, and you're gonna kick me out of the group. And this happens all the time. Like, and it, it's mostly because because these got like these moderate these fucking tangents. It's mostly because these moderators are like, it's they're like it's like you're threatening their world. Like they like they have this like little. <laughs> they have this little like uh following like like the one in new york city was like 250 guys or whatever and like, like they they think they're respected because they're a moderator <clears throat> and they're like running the show so to speak <clears throat> so you got like a real player that comes in like me and i'm like hey guys and, I, and i'm like actively criticizing like um i said in another video it's it's cool how I didn't realize I didn't put all this much content in the past couple weeks, but I'm like able to reference all these videos. The video where I talk about how everyone's learning pickup incorrectly. You you've got these moderators that are upset because you're criticizing bad information, incorrect information that's being given out in these in these stupid fucking groups, right? Oh, it's fucking it's fucking Dominican. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's like one of those ones where it's, it's gonna be like an all-out fuck fest like uh instantly like like we're gonna like meet up and she's just gonna like strip it's gonna be fucking awesome i'm really excited about it oh but i'm like i come into the group and i read i read a bunch of the questions and i'm like people are giving answers i'm like nope that's wrong nope that's wrong nope that's wrong and i get i get like two main reactions to this first of all the mods feel threatened and they're like oh like hey like why don't you mind your own business or i'm like dude these i know what i'm doing i've been with all these girls and then, and then everyone attacks the lay count they're like clearly you have a problem if you're tracking the number of girls or like clearly you only fuck fat girls because it's so high and i've said before it's not mutually exclusive you can fuck a lot of hot girls and have a lot of high standards which i do and still have a high lay count. Um, and then this, and then the second thing that comes at me, that from these idiots, is uh, the, the the articles, the negative articles. And I made a video about that with the arrest. And they're like, oh, like don't listen to this guy as a rapist. And I talked about in the video how there was no rape charge and no um, trial and no conviction on any of the charges. So, <laughs> hour and a half later. Let's get back to the chart. But I want you guys. <laughs> I'm almost like wanting to punch myself in the face because I because I like try to continue and then my brain goes into a tangent and I'm like getting annoyed with it. <laughs> All right, but I, but I I will re I will reiterate for the very 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 last time. In order to get into my position where you have a bunch of stunners hitting you up, you need to first not be a pussy and be high value. I'm going to, I'm going to put out the article with Sunny where we talk about how to not be a pushover. And this can't be fake throughout our game tactics. If you think that's that you just can copy what I'm doing or what another alpha man is doing, it's not, that's not how it works. You have to become alpha first. And I will go over that in the article with Sunny. Second, you have to learn how to text correctly and, and work these leads, okay? Third, you have to learn how to run these dates correctly and how to close, and you have to actually be able to hold your composure in front of a hot chick, which I'm not saying it's like an easy thing to do in the beginning. Like it's, it's super, it's, it's like, I, I can, it's no different than a fat chick to me now at this point, being in front of a hot chick, but, in the beginning, I actually was terrified. Like my my first few nines I hung out with on dates, it was a disaster. If I'm being honest, and it it should be for you guys too. It's not you. It's you're like leveling up. Like you you can't just like you can't just like be totally icy cool around your your first couple nines. Like you can't. Like you're you're gonna be scared. 
I feel like you guys are like my my children or something. I mean, I don't have any children, but I'm like, it's going to be okay, son. You're going to be scared. <laughs> Fuck, I can't wait to watch this. This is, this is, this is going to be a nice... Hold on. Jesus, fuck. Hold on. What the fuck is Shit. I might miss out on banging a hot chick for you guys here. The chick that I, um... I had a date, like, an hour ago. Here, I'll show you a picture. Brazilian, there's a bunch of Brazilians in Portugal, um, and I, because I'm making this, <laughs> this, like, extended rant, and now she's like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it now, so, thank you guys for fucking up uh, 767, no, I'm just kidding, I'll probably, I'll probably be able to reschedule it. But again, I don't even care that much. Like, yeah, I wanted to bang her, and like, yeah, it would have been cool, but at the same time, it's like, who cares? The, the hot Lebanese one is coming at night to, like, cook and, and fucking blow me all night and shit. Or mostly bang me out. Not blow me. Let's see. I'm reading, I'm reading a response on my forum. Do you understand how, how desensitized you have to be to fuck 750 girls? John is a freak. All his past girlfriends were borderline insane. That's because I made a lot of, a lot of girlfriends, uh, a lot of strippers into girlfriends. Normal chicks don't even register with him. Follow John's stuff. It'll give you a lot. But don't ask relationship questions. It's actually my my uh, business partner that wrote that. My marketing business partner. It's funny. <laughs> Remember that time John said he met the most amazing girl in his life and he's gonna give up game for her? That was last year. That was the Puerto Rican. And this chick was stunning. She was like a a model and sweet and cute and I just couldn't turn it off. I couldn't turn it off. Like, sorry, a hot girl sat next to me on the plane. Hot, sorry, I had a hot Uber driver. Like, put, I guess I would have to to like live in a cabin or some shit. And then he, he my marketing business partner replied, usually that lasts him a couple of days or a week. Then he misses new pussy too much, and that's that. It's true, yeah. Like, it's true. And the and the girl like the, I don't know how many of you guys have had girlfriends like she just gets too predictable it just gets too boring like you you know what what she's going to say and like, like what make, what makes her laugh and all stuff and you're like ugh uh, and 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 there's just big pieces missing like this chick had like B B sized tits like American bra size B tits and I like big tits like her ass was like perfect but. It's like if I married her, I never get to feel big tits again. Like she wasn't into intellectual things or philosophy. I can never have an intellectual conversation with a girl again. Like she didn't like partying and going out. Like I can never do that again. Like the reason why rotations are so cool is it's a conglomerate girlfriend. That's that's the best way to describe it. For those of you that don't have experience with rotations or don't understand the value of rotations, and by rotations I mean like a harem or a collection of women. Some some of them have a big ass. Some of them have big tits. Some of them have like tongue ring. Like I've got one that's coming over in like two days as a tongue ring, and like she's like, I want to just like slide my tongue ring up and down your cock. And you're like, fuck yeah. Like some of them have tattoos. Like some of them like to go party and like have a have a nice crazy time out. 
some of them like to stay in and watch movies some of them like to have intellectual conversations some of them are like shy but like kind of like a freak and they want to be like tied up and shit um and i could just go on and on and, and you put like 10 of them together because I, again i run like six to 12 girl rotations you put like 10 of these girls together and they all supplement each other to become like a perfect girlfriend and the, like like the girlfriend is like all of them like as a unit <laughs> it's like you don't get bored of, of the one chick's like shyness because you have party chicks you don't get bored of the one girl's small tits because you have big tits you don't get bored of the real tits because you have fake tits you don't get bored of like a chick like they all they all are good at different positions like trust me rotations are the fucking way to go and as soon here's the other cool part as soon as one of them gets boring or gets too annoying or, or too needy or anything she gets replaced because what's happening you're acquiring go back here we're acquiring leads so there's always new shit in the pipeline and you can even you can even replace them like they don't even need to get annoying or needy you can just replace them for not being hot enough like say you have a seven five in your rotation and all the other girls are hotter which is probably not going to happen for most of you let's say all the other girls are above an eight and and you meet some like new eight five or new nine you can cut the seven five and just solely on the principle of her not being hot enough but when you have all this shit, which is what this fucking process leads to over here when you have all this shit that all these girls i mean and you have and, and, and you constantly have new opportunities to meeting them and to close them you don't need any of them you don't give a shit it's not like you're inhuman you're desensitized and you're a sociopath and like you're just cold and all this stuff no i'm actually i actually treat my rotation girls really well like i take most of them out to dinner not as a provider just because i like eating out <laughs> pussy and food <laughs> by the way you should learn how to eat pussy um I do I do shit with them like like a lot of them if I'm being fair a lot of them just come to the house and bang and leave but I do do shit especially with like the main one the main one or two I do do I, I do do like boyfriend girlfriend shit with them all the time like we'll go on trips we'll um we have sleepovers like <laughs> sounds like a little kid um <laughs> in my in my tents um I'll even like buy them shit sometimes not often but I'll like if I know they really want like the main one if she like she really wants something or whatever I'll, I'll like buy her something like a boyfriend would and it's not and I, and I, and I actually like really I, I actually like care about them and I like really listen to their problems and like I'm sweet to them and I respect them all this stuff the only thing that I'm doing, maybe what you, some of you would see is wrong, is fucking other girls. But to be fair, I don't make it official with any of them. I, we're not officially boyfriend and girlfriend. And I think, I'm pretty sure, that most of them are being monogamous to me from their end. But it's like one-sided. But they're, they're just so enraptured with all the, the happiness they're getting from me. Like, think about it. I'm, I'm like providing like this high value influence in her life. I'm supporting them emotionally for real, which a lot of you guys probably think is bullshit. It's not, it's not, I support, I support them emotionally. I'm, I'm there for them. I'm like a strong support figure in their life. Um, fuck, just blanked out again. <laughs> It's because I'm fucking drinking at 11 a.m. Um, I, ho I hope this doesn't sound like ranting. I think this, I think this is all like really, really, really good player shit that has never been said before in the community and is important to hear. Um, oh, I fucked them really well. 
so they're like constantly like horny for my dick and all that stuff and I'm not needy at all why because I know I can go out any public place and get girls just as good as her if not better and there's the fucking boom if you're still watching it <laughs> almost four hours in here I'll probably make a shortened version of this I'm gonna upload this full one but I'll probably make a short version of how to run this this funnel here um because everyone's gonna bitch about the, about the length that's what she said <laughs> um yeah like i know i can go out and get more i don't give a shit because i have tons of others she's in the grand scheme of things not that important to me but i get attached to the main ones i'll be honest like the main one, like that's actually a problem. I like start getting feelings for them sometimes. I don't, that, that, that actually sounded like fucking cold and crazy, but I mean like 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 close feelings. Like I'll get like um I have feelings for all of them, but I'll get like close feelings where like it's bad. It's bad when you get, when you get really attached to a chick. It's being real. It's easy to like start getting jealous. Like I'm like sometimes like. And again I make the main one like the hottest one and stuff so like I'll bring them out to the club or bring them to dinner and dudes will like touch their ass or hit on them or whatever and it like causes me to like almost punch guys in the face or like sometimes I, I like I really will sometimes wonder like when I'm not with them like oh shit like are they possibly on another with another guy or something and it's like all these like terrible thought patterns and stuff um, which is just a function of becoming attached and i'll talk about attachment with oxytocin also all right so finally we can finish so your ability to run your dates at the venue or at your house results in lays lay rate they, they count closes and then the lay rates is basically like how frequently you're able to close and then from there Typically, you're, you're taking the cool ones that are hot enough that you had good chemistry with. Um, let me see if this girl rescheduled. Shit. Fuck. Shit, I think it's going to fall through. That sucks. That's part of the game. She's she's like mostly busy the rest of the day, and she has to travel. Fuck. Sucks. Hmm. Oh. Well. I got the Lebanese and oh fuck. We'll see the Brazilian later. I think the Lebanese wants to sleep all night. These are the problems you face. These are the these are the hassles you encounter. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a big problem because the Lebanese wants to fuck all night and sleep over, and she lives like an hour away. So the Brazilian oh, wants to come straight to the house for wine. Oh shit! I'll probably just kick the Lebanese. <laughs> blunt, blunt to sleep over, cook dinner, bang our bunch. Oh, I have a meeting. That's that's a, that's a good excuse, by the way. When you want to boot a chick, I've got a work meeting at eleven thirty at night. Yep, different time zones. Wink. Okay. So you want to take the hottest ones, the coolest ones that you have the best chemistry with, and put them on rotation and I will make a video about this so two upcoming videos one will be how to build a rotation and retain the ones that you close which is this part here keep in mind that these green areas are the ones where you can learn this here your ability to take a girl home from a date venue or your ability to, and your ability to close the house I'll make a video on that exactly how to do that um, and that applies here as well. Let's see. Oops. That applies here as well. 
these are, these are about this is the same thing. So bring a girl home from a pole, bring a girl home from a date. What do you do with the house? The answer, drum roll, is get naked and put on a condom. <laughs> and don't touch the clit. Jesus. 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 This part here, you can copy my text sequence from how to work. Um, Or, sorry, for setting dates straight to the house, I give, I give the text sequence in the description. Okay. So we're going to do a quick recap. And I want to thank you guys, whoever are still with me at this point. Because I'm, I'm not tooting my, my own horn at all. But these, these stories, at the very least, should be entertaining to you. But it's also giving you a window a, a window into like a real player's lifestyle and a real player's like alpha shit how he's dealing with these girls how is he how is he um handling them over text how is he handling them in interactions like how is he like doing really bold ballsy fucking moves like banging another one in front of the other one and then kicking one out and then making out with the other with the second one in front of the first one and banging the first one again like mo i almost don't know anyone that would do stuff like that but to me that was the correct move and it, even if it wasn't the correct move I, <laughs> I wanted to bang the second one so i wasn't gonna be like sorry brunette with fake tits like prepare like i just happened to fuck the first one here and, and i don't know what to do now like oh or like so, like you know because most guys would be too much again it comes back to being a pussy like most guys would be too afraid to kick out the blonde. Okay, most guys would be too afraid to talk to them in the first place. Most guys, <laughs> most guys would be too would not have the knowledge to invite them up to the the apartment. Most guys would never fuck one in front of the other because oh, they're the, like that's gonna cause a bunch of problems. No, most guys would not have the balls to kick out the, the first one to keep the second one and then most guys would not make out with the, <laughs> with the second one in front of the first one and like all that shit made them both want me more and more and then and they were both like who, who do you want more like they both were like who do you like better like who do you... and i'm just like ha 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 and and i also had like a nine five girlfriend that i was being a bastard cheating on And I think I showed them too. I think I was like, "Look, this is my girlfriend." They're like, "Holy fuck, she's super hot!" Like, my girlfriend was like hotter than those girls. Those girls were pretty hot. But my girlfriend was hotter, and they didn't care that, it, that I had a girlfriend. And the one one of them had a boyfriend too. But like, I hope, despite all the hate about the length of this video, that I hope these stories give you a window into what into how you need to act, how you need to be. And, and again. Take out, take out all the immoral aspects because I know a lot of you are <laughs> straight shooters and, and immoral. And I'm not advocating being immoral here. I'm not saying like go, go be a bastard and cheat on your girlfriend and fuck people with boyfriends and, and wives or husbands. husbands. Yeah. Or like, you know, fuck the, fuck the girl you met on the plane when you have a, when you have a girlfriend with the Uber driver. Or like start purposely ignoring all your you're not even gonna have nine sitting you up until until you're a cool dude like it's not like it's not like it's not like you get a weak number close from a nine and then like text her for weeks trying to get her to meet up when she she won't meet you because you it was a weak number close and you're not you're not alpha and you're a pussy and then by some random happenstance <laughs> nice word you bang her i can't remember the the way I framed that before, like, like somehow you bang her, like, like some miracle. It, like, it, do you see how? This is what you guys should be realizing. It's like most of you want to approach a nine. In fact, like they're, they're like if like if we had like a hundred of you here, okay, at this point, and I think it's gonna highlight. If we had a hundred of you here, 
let's let's use night game as an example. Nine point five. Not like that. That means I think most of you know what that means. Almost a perfect looking girl. Nine point five out of ten, with ten being the best. You're in night game. Who's gonna approach her out of those hundred? Maybe five of you. A lot of, a lot of you would be too afraid. Here's what's gonna go through your mind. I'm not cool enough. She's too hot for me. She's gonna she's gonna reject me. She's gonna embarrass me. My, I'm gonna be embarrassed by my friends. I'm gonna get blown the fuck out, and I'm gonna feel like shit. Um, what else is going through your mind? She she almost surely has a boyfriend because she's so hot. Um, uh, I'll do I'll approach her later. You know, that, just making excuses. That's what's gonna happen. So maybe five of you are going. I'm just I'm I don't know what the real number is, but that's probably about how many you're going. Maybe ten. Uh, probably probably less than five actually, because you guys are fucking pussies. And I'm not. It's not a diss. I'm giving you real feedback on what I've seen amongst the majority of community men, men the re, the, who are really boys still. Most of them are boys. I don't. I don't. I'm not even talking about. <laughs> your age and talking about the way you conduct yourself. Now, out of those five, we're going to get stopped in the funnel right here, actually. <laughs> out of those five, like you're all going to probably get destroyed and that's it. And we don't even continue on, but let's assume one or two of you somehow get a pity phone number. Okay. You can convince this super hot chick. That, that she should meet you, Maybe, probably under false pretenses, like, uh, what do you, the guys say I need directions, or, I'm trying to think of a stupid situation that's common, maybe, maybe we could catch a coffee sometime, and discuss something and something, and I'm not showing any romantic interest, because I'm a pussy, and she's like, oh, and she feels bad, and she gives you the number. Okay, so here we are moving along in the funnel. Now you're like, hey, like, and you have no idea what you're doing with texting, because most of you don't. Now you're like, hey, um, it's, it's Tom. How's it going? And she's like, ugh. It's like when look with me, like I'm looking at these at these text threads. I'm like, fuck, ugh, because I cause there's too much. There's there's too many hot. Gr <laughs> this sounds this sounds so fucking shallow and arrogant and stuff, but there's too many hot girls texting me, and there's and when I don't reply, they they double and triple text, and they 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 do this thing with the nudes <laughs> sometimes. It's like it's like they're <laughs> it's, it's really funny with the nudes. It's like they're they're like last resort. It's like I remember Mister Mister used to talk about in Mystery Method. He he would talk about like with negs, like the whole rationale behind like a neg is like all guys love me and give me attention. This guy doesn't seem to be phased or really give a shit. There must be something special about him. What is it about him different than these other guys? And so she's like intrigued. Um, I'm just like spaced again. Oh, Jesus Christ! I like I think I like need more sleep right now. I need to eat that oh, veal parmesan, the garlic bread. It sounds fucking awesome right now. Um, oh yeah. I'm actually like not this much of a space cadet. I'm just I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm like thinking about the the uh, the one that because I probably would have banged her in it. And I'm thinking about like how she's busy the rest of the day, so it's like kind of fucking with me a little bit. Um, but I'm doing this for you guys. I'm sacrificing new bangs to. Advance the community. So some mysteries like yeah, 
when when you show her disinterest and, and give her a neg, she's like, everyone likes me, everyone thinks I'm cool, everyone compliments me, this guy doesn't, there must be something different about him, what's this, what's this shit about him? It's the same thing when you don't text them back. And don't again don't do it as don't do this as an outer game tactic. Because they sense they sense this stuff over text, they sense this stuff in person. Do it because you really do not give a fuck. And this guy in this scenario, if he decided to not text her, it wouldn't go anywhere because he didn't build the value at this point. This is kind of cool now. I'm like breaking this down all technically. He didn't build the value at this point. He didn't sell himself as a high value dude. So not giving a fuck at this stage in the game is going to just kill the, kill the lead. Like he's going to have to push hard to get some kind of pity date out of this. And you, and you see like this all trickles down. If you are not a high value dude and you fuck up all this, like her willingness to meet up with you goes way down as well. So he can't just like, he's not going to, like, say he did this 10 times with a girl of that caliber. He's not going to have like all 10 of them being like, hey, what is his name with Tom? Hey, Tom, like, when, when can I see you? When can I meet you? Why? He didn't build the value. He didn't, he didn't build the fucking um, investment and, and the willingness to meet up here. And he probably didn't frame it either, which is another thing that I will cover in a different, in a different video. So, Tom, not giving a fuck about this chick to follow my advice in this video, is going to just, the leads is going to be dead. So he's going to have to give a fuck here because his value is low. Now, he's going to have to work some miracles over text because this girl's being relentlessly hit up by constant, or by a, a huge influx of men, most of whom are much higher value than Tom. Damn, I'm like really excited to rewatch this. Because I'm, a, I, I, I love watching my shit. Like, not, not necessarily from like a narcissistic standpoint, but partially. But also because it's like I'm making like killer points here. I hope you guys realize that. So it it helps like refresh even to myself, even though I'm making the the points. It's like. It's like nice to like reinforce these powerful concepts and learn from myself, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So maybe he hits her up, she ignores. Maybe he hits her up a couple days later, she, she ignores. Maybe he goes in Alex's group, Alex Vilenchek, who is really good at texting and online game, and, and he sees like like a nice meme or whatever. So he uses a trick to basically substitute his lack of value and he sends her maybe the alex advocates that they're buying gosling meme or like uh it's like hey how how you doing or no what, what is it? happy thursday or like happy wednesday like there's one for every day of the week so maybe he sends that and the chick's like haha and he catches her in a good mood and she replies and again this it's it's hard to set updates with, with hot girls even when you're high value really hot girls and so let's say she replies and he maybe he goes through a bunch more cycling of maybe he asked her to meet up and and for all of you that are like why why does a girl like stop responding when I ask her to meet up it's a investment and a compliance point and then you didn't build the value here build this skill set up here how you are presenting yourself and that goes into going to the gym it goes into wearing good clothes it goes into speaking loudly it goes into having boundaries it goes to being sure of yourself it goes into having direct eye contact it goes into using body language and facial expressions it goes into just being cool being high value Every, everything that's wrapped up in being high value why does she stall when you ask her to meet up it's because you're not high value enough and especially if she's a nine five She's not going to want to go fucking waste time with your low value ass. Get on her level and then she will go out with you. And I, and I don't like to sugarcoat and I'm, and I'm not sugarcoating. As I, as I drink rum and coke and 
and sugarcoat my teeth with <laughs> actual sugar. I should be a comedian. Okay. In our example, 100 guys here. Or here, sorry, in that game. Five, get the phone number. One or two use some fancy bullshit and she like reluctantly, probably out of pity, almost surely out of pity, sets up the date and it's it's the guy's like hooray, like he's texting pictures of this girl to his friends and they're all like, Oh my god, like you're the man. Nope, you're not. Like in this example, I'm not talking about like a really high alpha guy. I'm, I'm talking about the typical guy that that's probably watching this video and why you need to become more alpha and why you need to become more high value. And he's like so, so proud of himself for securing this date. Um, sorry, it's a fucking Latvian. It, it's so annoying. It's, and a lot of these girls are so hot, but like they're so annoying. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like some like. I don't know what's the words. Uh, like too cool for school. I'm not like oh look at all these girls blowing me up. It's it just really is annoying. It's like fuck up like not fuck off forever, but it's like. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, 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 when you have all these girls through the pipeline, when you have all these girls in the rotations, you, you don't care anymore about any of them. Not, I don't mean in a, in a cold, callous way. I just mean you don't, you're not, you're not attached to, like, well, seeing them again or, like, what, what, any of this shit. And, like, you're probably their only dude for, for most of the cases. So they're all like, hey, how's your day? Hey. <clears throat> I don't mind rep replying to how, how my day is and <laughs> that kind of shit, but it's, all right. A couple guys made it through. They're bragging to their friends. They're sending pictures of this girl. Maybe they found this girl's Instagram and they're like, look at this chick. And everyone's like, wow, that's a 9.5 or that's that's like a, a fucking supermodel. Like, you have a date with her? Now, here's the problem. He's not a high value guy. In our example, he's not a high value guy and he fucked all this shit up here. And then he used some clever tactics here. Like in my example, like maybe he used one of Alex's like special memes and got a pity. Well, he probably got a pity phone number and now he got a pity date. And now he's like, oh, like the, the stars have aligned. And, and like when I was doing sales, <clears throat> you can tell when the, when the appointment is weak. They're like, well, okay, like here's an example. They're, they're like, well, um, you know, we, we just took out a second mortgage and like we're, we have three kids in college and we like really have no money. And like I heard I heard this company is like really shady and like I don't think we even want to buy anything from that company. And uh, what else? Um, we don't even have any use for this product. And and you're like, but can we just set an appointment for the salesman to come and explain things to you? And they're like, yeah, I don't know, but we're not really interested. Like, we probably would never buy this. And you're like, but can, but can we just set the appointment? <clears throat> and they feel bad, and they're like, I guess so. Like, would you would you run off and 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 hit up all your friends and be like, boom, like I'm the fucking man. Like I'm gonna go fucking like we're gonna knock this one out of the park. No, it's like a it's like a low, it's a low probability situation. That's not even the, the, the important. I'm just trying to show you because we all want hot chicks. I'm just trying to show you at when you're weak here, when you're a pussy, when you're not a high value guy, when your when your game is weak in the set, it's going to lead to a pity. It's probably going to lead to no number, but it's gonna, in this case, it's going to a pity number, and then maybe use a fancy trick over text. It's going to lead to a pity date, and this girl has no intention of banging. She had no intention of banging you here, and and you think just because you got to here, like now, like now you're like in the game and like you're in the you're in the running, and she probably has like fucking jacked, like really cool dudes hitting her up, like that she's like. Or dudes like me. I'm, I, I just thought that was the camera. <laughs> and yeah, like some of you are like, oh, you're not the the model of an alpha male. Okay, I fucked tons of hot chicks. 
call me whatever you want. And I do it consistently. She's in this scenario. Meanwhile, she's like, while this fucking loser here is, is blowing her up with his little tricks over text, this chick's like blowing up my phone. And she's like, hey, when can I see you again? Like, when can, like, when are you going to do this, this bad shit to me again? And like, sexually, when are you going to, like, like, she's like sending the nudes because <laughs> I'm like ignoring her and shit. And, and, and like, like imagine, like, imagine this. I'm being down and down and fucking dirty. You're not, you're not going to find this on any, any motherfuckers YouTube or, or pickup channel. Because first of all, they're not even at this level. Not bragging. They're not at this level, and they're but they're not at. Uh, they, they, they've never even been through these experiences, and they, and they also don't understand it and can't analyze it. So it's like a, a multifaceted problem. And and they're too. Okay. Most of these guys aren't banging nines. Most of these guys can't break it down like this. And most of these guys are too much of a pussy to like tell you straight up how it is. Or don't understand like even what's going on or so this so this is good like this it's gonna even be good for me to rewatch re mostly for the, the laughs imagine this while tom is sending the ryan gosling meme like happy thursday with the with the glasses and all that right she's sending me fucking nudes and it's a nine five, you know, and I'm and I'm like doing other shit. Maybe I'm fucking another girl. Probably that's what I'd be doing. Uh, again, I'm gonna make this extreme. I'm not always fucking a girl. I'm not fucking a girl right now. <laughs> um, a lot of times I am. I fucking cut my hair too short. Um. And like she fires off these nudes and <laughs> to me and Tom's like happy Thursday with the Ryan Gosling and she looks at it and is like Duh. and then I get the nudes <laughs> oh this is funny making these points about the nudes <clears throat> but they, they, they literally would do that like, like let's let's back it up a little bit let's say she was like when can I see you again let's say I banged her like a few days ago so when can I see you again and I look at it because I'm probably with other girls. That happens a lot. And I look at it and I just don't reply. And like, there's this, I just don't answer. And then she's like, her validation is stripped and it's gone. And she's like, this is like the only guy that doesn't give a shit. I want him. Surprise, surprise. And then she sends the nudes, like playing, like playing that card. Like she has, she knows she has a hot body. And then I get the nudes and I'm probably with a different chick and, and I'm like, whatever, <clears throat> like I'll jerk off to these later. Probably <laughs> this is like, I'm like, I'm like being like straight up right now. And then, uh, Tom is like hanging, like what's it called? The cliff cliffhanger <laughs> nail or nail biter. He's like hanging in suspense. Like, did my Ryan Gosling meme work? And the chick is waiting in suspense. Like, is he going to like my nudes? Like, th <laughs> this is like such an important concept to, to convey about value, about being an alpha man. Sounds like I'm fucking spanking an ass. <laughs> about the dynamics of what the fuck is going on here. As we're all doing this this game stuff, okay? Do you see the problem? Do you see why you need to get better at these green boxes? And again, I have I have um I have a video that shows you the exact text to send to get the girls straight to your house, to your house, which is where you will have sex, the sex location as they call it. And then I'm gonna make a video about what to do at the house. That's this and that's this. And then I'll make a video about how to keep them so that because if, if the sex was good and it was a cool chick, you want to <clears throat> be able to fuck the girl again. Should I think I drink like fucking half the bottle of this rum during this, this video here? Jesus Christ. 
All right. Let's move along. Recap. 100 girls, 5 get the phone number, 1 or 2 get the pity date. Okay, now let's, here we are here we left off with the pity date. Funny term. Um, Jesus Christ. Latvian. The Latvian, I think I mentioned earlier in the video, I don't remember, but Latvian fucking gives like perfect head. It's awesome. She's like a model and shit. Yeah. And it's like a nice change up because a lot of the Portuguese, well, a lot of people in Portugal are either Portuguese or Brazilian. She's like a Eastern European blonde. Okay, here we are at the date. Congratulations, Tom. Like the odds of this closing are close to zero. He goes in with high hopes. All his friends are rooting for him. He's probably jerked off to <laughs> to her Instagram maybe fifty times by now. <laughs> probably has no idea how to frame things to take the girl home. Well, first of all, he's gonna make the mistake of not inviting the girl straight to his house, which I talked about in the other video. So he's gonna invite her to a venue. And maybe she's going to, okay, here's what's probably, what, this is, this is actually getting really good here. The key on dates, if they're not at your house, is to have them close to your house. And also to be one-on-one -on -one with the girl. You're optimizing your logistics. It wants to be close to your house, one-on-one. -on -one. And, um... You want to make sure she like has enough time or whatever like after to, to come hang out with you. So <clears throat> we'll probably have in this situation. What's her name? I don't even. We didn't even give a name to this girl. Let's let's call her like fucking. Uh, what's a hot name? Sab Sabrina. It's like American Psycho. I'm gonna call you Sabrina. Um, <laughs> First of all, if we're being totally realistic, this will fuck up our example, but she's probably going to flake because it's going to get closer to the date, the, the actual like time and of this thing going down, and she's going to be like, she's going to text her girlfriends like, yeah, I gave this guy my number because I felt bad and he, he wants me to hang out, and what should I say to the kid? So she, she's going to cancel, pity cancel, like with this bullshit excuse, like, oh, hey, I'm not feeling well. Oh, hey, like, my dog is sick. Oh, hey, like, um, I forgot I have this thing. And Tom's going to be like, oh, shit, she has this thing. Like, And he's going to believe it because he's a fucking idiot. And because he thinks he actually had a chance in the first place, which he never did. But for the sake of this, to keep moving along to our, our funnel here that I've created, let's assume she feels <laughs> pity meet up. She feels so bad. Again, why did why did why did she give the number? Because she felt bad. Because she didn't want to tell this guy like like she thinks he's a loser. Okay, in this situation, he's like a low value dude. Why did she give the number? It's because she felt bad. She it was easier to give the number than to say like, oh sorry, I'm not interested, or like oh sorry, and. Maybe she felt even too bad to say she had a, a fake boyfriend, right? Why did she res respond receptively over text? It would never, okay, no, she was never receptive over text. That would never happen. She got caught in a good mood with this fucking clever text. Okay, that, uh, my example is from Alex. You can use those text but you need to be high value in the first place to so that she actually wants to meet you caught her in a good mood she agreed to the meetup reluctantly and not having her heart in it tom thought he was the man brad doll's friends now or to the date okay and almost surely he will get flaked but let's 
to keep it moving, let's say he doesn't get fight and she she says to her girlfriend's like, yeah, I agreed to meet with this guy and I, I don't really, I'm not into him at all. Like he was like a big loser, like Tyler, like this girl in the other video explained about Tyler. <clears throat> and her friends are like, well, just, you know, just go on a date. Like, cause, you know, he's probably a nice guy. Like just, you know, if they all feel bad, like they're all feeling, they're all like getting a, a hit on their conscience, right? And let's also assume like she's like most girls where she's like kind of like a bitch in terms of I'm not saying all women are bitches. I'm saying like most likely her mind shifts to like, hmm, what can I get out of this? A dinner, a free dinner. So maybe, maybe Tom sees my videos and I, I, I suggest to invite for drinks or coffee to minimize costs, especially when doing volume. Maybe he, didn't, maybe he didn't see my one about inviting straight to the house. And he says, hey, let's meet for drinks um, this night, such and such night. And she says, oh, I don't like that place or I don't drink, like whatever the excuse is. Can we get dinner instead? Now, what's going to happen? Tom does not want to disagree with her. I would put me through this fucking funnel and I'm going to say, no, let's let's do drinks the first time and, and if she insists on dinner i'll be like all right we'll take care like not because i'm cheap because it's i'm setting up what's going to happen not her my game plan is getting a drink or getting a coffee tom is going to be terrified to go against her and start a conflict because this is a nine five and he can't fuck it up so of course he's going to agree now they're at a dinner, at an expensive dinner place, right? Bill comes. Or first of all, the conversation, and this goes back to here again. The conversation is going to be awkward because he's going to be low value. He's going to be terrified. Straight up. He's going to be sitting across from a hot girl. Like maybe she has like even like a fucking hot dress. Let's, yeah, let's amp it up. I hope, I hope this example is like fucking fun for you guys. Fun for me. Because I'm like, I've, I've been through thousands of interactions i've coached hundreds of guys i've actively been immersed in this stuff for over five years i'm just putting it all together for you let's say she has like a nice fucking set of tits and it's like on display with the cleavage and shit and and he's trying to talk to <laughs> let me look at the camera he's trying to talk to her and he's just like uh and he he's so worried so worried and a lot of you are probably thinking like oh this is me this is me i don't mean like actually you in the example i mean like you can relate to this he's so worried that she's not going to like him that she's going to judge something he said negatively that he's not good enough that's that's really the core of it that he's not good enough that he has no business being there he knows that and he feels it and she feels it and this whole thing is a pity date where she's using him for a free meal he has no business dating a girl like this there's no fucking way ever he will have her here okay first off he's not even gonna get to bang her almost like 99.9 and if he did, he would fuck up this part almost care. This is this is why you need to master these green boxes. Are you seeing now? Are you seeing now? Okay. So he's sitting there staring at her boobs. He's he's just fucking terrified out of his mind. And in front of you that have been on a date with a nine, <clears throat> it can be intimidating. It isn't at all, at all for me anymore. It hasn't been for a long time. But in the beginning, it was very, 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 very intimidating. Because, because like, it's, it's it feels like there's like a lot on the line. It's like, oh, I don't want to upset this chick. <clears throat> I don't want to fuck up and lose this chick, especially like once. <laughs> like, think about it. He's jerked off this girl's pictures a whole bunch. He, he's like fantasized about like her blowing him and in uh riding his dick like a whole bunch of times and 
he wants that dream to become a reality. It, ne it won't in this scenario, sadly. And he, I think, knows that mostly deep down. Pro actually, he probably thinks he does have a shot. He, he just thinks it's probably a low shot. Like he has like a low chance. In reality, the chance is like almost zero. And, you know, so he, so he continues to be low value just like he was over here. Okay. He's unsure of himself. He can't make strong eye contact with her. He avoids physicality because he doesn't want to be too aggressive or upset her or something. Um, maybe she's rude to him a couple times and he doesn't stand up for himself. Again, all relating back to the same problem of being low value and being a pussy. Um, he, he's probably looking at her boobs too much because he, he's like, it's like with the strip club stuff I talked about, he's starstruck. He, he can't handle a girl that's hopping in front of him. Um, she picks up on all this shit and senses all of it and it reconfirms all the fucking bullshit from the original interaction and she's like looking at her watch like when the fuck can I get out of here right no most guys don't even frame setting things up to go back to the house after a date. So he probably wouldn't do that. He probably would. This is probably what, this is like real life. Like he wouldn't even get to this point. I told, I told you he would, he would 95 out of a hundred guys would, could, would not even go in and talk and talk to her. And I, I should also add in that if they did, a lot of them would just get straight blow offs. Like the girl fully full out, ignoring them lying that she has a boyfriend um there's a, there's a million variations of this it, grabbing her friend and being like this is my girlfriend we're lesbians yeah, i'm sure you all heard that it's it, it's code word for like your low value get the fuck out of here <laughs> and then it's cool it's cool like that i have amassed all this knowledge about this shit because i can just this is this is it. Here we are. You you want a bunch of stunners in this pink little circle. I'm going to teach you how to get there. I will be your guide. My product is, is the best way. I'm going to be giving you a bunch of free tidbits to advance you there as well. And these green boxes, or whatever the fuck, it's not a, it's not a trapezoid uh oblong circles <laughs> uh is going to be what brings you further over to here and i'm going to i'm going to hit these points hard i'll probably box them out in my videos and be like i already told you this this one here is um in my setting updates to the house video um Four and a half hours. This I think this is one of the best videos I've made. I think because I'm I'm really like bringing you through the whole process. Like, because you're you're all out there like doing night game and day game online, and you have no idea what the fuck's going on in terms of like how how this is moving to the result and how you can improve these specific pieces to get to the result, and also like the girl's perspective. I know the girl's perspective. I I am the female ten now. Here we have more fucking blow ups. Jesus Christ. They they just blow it. Quality problems, of course. I'm not like, oh I can't handle all these hot girl messages. But they, they just blow up your phone. Like and I'm only res I'm only responding to like like the I'm only responding to the one that I canceled on because I'm making this video. I only responded to her because she's like busy the rest of the day, and I'm like trying to reset the logistics because she was fucking hot. Oh, actually though, that solves one problem. That was the Brazilian. That solves one problem. Or no, that wasn't the Brazilian. That was. Oh, fuck. 
I still have I still have that problem with the Brazilian lighter with the Lebanese being here. Yeah, like this shit. Oh, uh, and it, it wastes so much fuck by wasting. I mean, you're getting laid a lot, but like I like I have like a whole bunch of work I'm behind on and stuff with my business, my non pickup business, and it's like just imagine text pouring it all day and like these fucking <laughs> these fucking nudes. <laughs> It's funny. I just like spinning myself. It's funny, like the topic of the nudes. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know anyone personally, or can imagine anyone that would be upset about a bunch of like really hot chicks sending them nudes. And it's like desperation. It's like their last resort. It's like if he's not gonna reply to my text, like I'm gonna like put my hot body in his face and like. I still won't reply, and then they're like stripped of <laughs> they're stripped of like all validation at that point. It's like you strip them of some when they're when you don't reply to the text, and then when when you don't reply to the nudes, <laughs> they're like because 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 every other guy would be like like look at the look at the dudes on Instagram and Facebook. They're just like. Oh my God! What a hottie! Like like any hot chick, they're just like blowing it up with like all these like, like the little heart heart eye emojis and like winks and like they think that like massively <laughs> complimenting it, a hot chick about like some purposely provo provocative or purposefully super hot photo will like get like give them an in. All right, where were we? Okay, okay. Sorry to recap again, but I I have to like reset my train of thought here. Ninety five out of hundred of ninety five out of hundred of you would not approach these girls, and I don't know the correct data estimation of how many of you that approach would get fake blow offs or rude blow offs. Almost all of you, but we need to like we can't just like end end the funnel there we, or end the the lead progression there we have to push it and we're talking about a nine five here which is the kind of girl i assume you all want in this unless some of you are in this to bang fatties <laughs> See, these are the kind of jokes that i, I want to rewatch. um <clears throat> so okay so most of you want to approach the ones you do are going to get the fake I have a boyfriend, we're lesbians, um, or just like straight up ignoring like that. I've even had that happen to myself. It's like, they're, they're like pretending they can't hear you. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to some of you guys. Um, <laughs> you're like talking to them directly, like from like a foot away and they're just like looking at their phone or, or whatever and just like straight ignoring you. It's like, I don't feel bad about stuff like that. It's, it's just, it's like stupid. Um, <laughs> shit's fucking hilarious to me it's like i'll be like yo i, I won't like a lot of you when, when that happens when they're like straight ignoring you you're like trying to cycle openers until she's receptive i'll be like what the, i'll be like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> not in a rude way i'll be like but i'll be like what the fuck are you doing like i'm just trying to just speak to you for a moment like what the fuck like you're like you're pretending you can't hear me i like actively call them out and like a lot of times that will like they're like, okay, he's not a pussy, thank God, because they're just getting barraged. If you're a hot girl, you're you're just getting barraged. Like it's like so annoying for them. And a, and a guy that's like, what what the fuck are you doing? But laughing. They know, okay, like this is not a typical low value man, which is ninety nine percent or or over that that approach them. Okay. <clears throat> In this example, you get a pity number here. Why? Because you're showing pussy -ish, pushy, pu pushy, pussy ish traits. And stay tuned for my discussion with Sonia Arvado about how not to be a pushover. You're not making eye contact. You're probably speaking a little bit too quiet. You are not using body language. You are not using. Commanding vocal ton vocal tonality. You are not using facial expressions. 
she might like test you and i don't like the word shit test like it's stupid she might test you a little bit with like giving you a little bit of a little bit of like problems or, or difficulty and you're like apologizing and stuff because you're so afraid that she's going to leave the set the interaction um and oh no 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 no, no. And, and this is why you have gotten a pity number and it, she almost never would give you the number in the first place but i'm gonna we have to push it through the funnel here now you have a pity number you're you're texting her she's ignoring you why because she doesn't like you why because you're low value why because you're a fucking pussy now um you happen to get this clever text from alex this is another example of hey girl how's your thursday she sees this shit she's in a good mood from some other reason and sees the shit and then laughs and is like ha 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 i'm good how are you doing and by some miracle maybe because you watch my shit or someone else's you get a date pity date pity 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 date and by and by pity date i mean she has no intention of sleeping with you it's like it's the same reason she gave you the, the phone when you're bringing in this low value she's only giving the phone number in these rare instances because she feels bad about rejecting you and like it being awkward and stuff now you you've managed to and you, so you like squeeze that one out <laughs> it sounds like i think that's like a, a term for jerking off S squeezing one out <laughs> and now you've managed to like extract or like set up a date through this like little fancy trick which is a pity date because she was never interested in the first place and you are like delaying the inevitable which is you getting rejected but in your mind in tom's mind here in this example he is like a superstar he's he's now he now he is in in a jerk off mode <laughs> well, let me grab one of my supplements <clears throat> he's in jerk off mode what i mean by that is he thinks that um he thinks that he now is like in the running like okay like he, like he thinks like he now has like a, a like a viable chance to, to sleep with this girl and to um have her on rotation why because she agreed to a date who gives a shit Okay. Damn, this video is like almost it's like coming up on five hours. I feel like a crazy person. Started the shit like six in the morning. Like hooked up with this girl last night. Like woke up at six in the morning. And I've been wanting to make this video for like a couple weeks, so here we are. Got my nice haircut. Nice little fucking stupid fish behind me. On my Airbnb. Um okay so, so so he's he's like now like envisioning like oh i'm gonna bang this chick and he thinks he has a good shot at it because she agreed to the date that doesn't mean shit and so he's jerking off to her instagram which is most most likely the case being real and he's texting his friends like oh i have a date with this chick and they're all like damn man like teach me your ways and like how'd you land that like oh like i didn't realize you were such a fucking pin Okay. Now, as I said, in a realistic world, she's almost always going to blow you out when you're low value and almost always going to give excuses why she can't give you her number. But she gave you the pity number because she felt bad. And then in this case, she's almost always going to ignore your texts perpetually and probably block you. <laughs> Especially like, like, invest like here's a guy she doesn't even like and now investment is dropping as time is passing and and she's gonna like get annoyed and the guy's probably gonna be sending like question marks <laughs> it's hilarious like, i can like i can like forecast this entire this is a made-up scenario but i can like these are the patterns that, that hot girls exhibit 
like the guy the guy probably like would message and then like message again later and she's ignoring all this shit and she's like oh this is the fucking the guy that i i felt bad about rejecting so i get my number damn i'm gonna like bust through a whole bottle of liquor during this shit and now she has agreed to a date out of pity mostly because of his little text trick how to game tactic can't replace real value i'm going to reiterate this in like most of my videos can't fake can't fake being alpha can't fake real value you need to fucking and that all starts here it actually all starts before even going out or talking to anyone <clears throat> So Tom's like, I'm the man. I'm going to fucking kill this shit. And he probably is going to overdraft. Oh, oh, wait. I was back at the, <laughs> I was back at the, the question mark. Oh, yeah, he's probably like texting her whole bunch she's ignoring. And, and then he's sending question marks. Also, and she's getting progress progressively annoyed as investment is dropping. And then she blocks him. <clears throat> I, I, feel, I feel bad. I, I, I sound like a huge dick. But this this is how it play out. I know I know this stuff like very well, and it's funny the <laughs> how like tactically I'm breaking this down in, in a flowchart. But let's assume she's like a really nice person and doesn't get annoyed by his repeated attempts and gets caught that's why i keep saying like gets caught in a good mood because it's like giving him like a little slight advantage gets caught in a good mood when he texts and he sends this little, little little meme from alex and she's like all right yeah like i'll respond and then uh she agrees to the date okay now tom is like fuck yeah he sends this shit to all his friends and he's probably gonna like overdress <laughs> I'm just being, <laughs> I'm trying to like cover the whole scenario here. He's going to be like, this is a hot chick. I need to like play the part. All this shit. He's probably going to wear like a blazer. Maybe like dress pants. Maybe even so far as like a tie. And I'm not, I'm not trying to like get, make this like out of control, like make this whole scenario like crazy or out of control or anything. But this is probably what he would do. And, and why? Because his rationale is, like, if he was going to go out on a date with a seven, he would wear jeans and a t-shirt, and, and he would probably act normal. But with this chick, he's got to be someone else because she's on a pedestal. It's probably going to roll up with a blazer and all that shit. Okay, now she shows up with, and I'm, I'm repeating myself here, but she shows up with, like, her fucking tits pouring out of her shirt. Looks hot as fuck. He's awkward. He's nervous. He's unsure of himself. He's worried about what he's saying. He's worried about what she's thinking. He's worried about if she's going to like him, all this shit. He's also not going to have any kind of game plan to get her home. So what's almost surely going to happen is he's going to buy her a dinner. Let's say it's like a typical Italian dinner with, with wine and stuff, like 90 bucks. He's going to tip like 15 bucks. So now we have like $105 spent and he's going to like walk her to the car and like awkwardly... Be like, well, I had a, a really nice time. And he's going to hug her goodbye. Like, or maybe he even, like, this probably wouldn't happen either because, they're again, he's a pussy. He's not going to go for the kiss, probably. But if he does, it's going to be some grand move before they part ways. And he didn't frame anything to take her back to the house like he should have. He almost surely, almost fucking surely, did not make things sexual. And by that, I mean, like, make innuendos, make, like, uh, incorporate any kind of physicality that almost surely did not happen because he's terrified that if he did that stuff, that she would be offended. And plus, she's way too hot to do. You can't do that to a really hot girl, to a girl that's close to a 10. You guys seen the problems? So they, you know, 
they hug goodbye. Maybe he awkwardly goes in for a kiss and she's like, oh, like, no, 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 thank you. You know, some really fucking awkward shit. <laughs> and after that, like, she's perpetually busy. Like, she got her little, she, she doesn't even need to be a gold digger, but she got her little, like, free meal plus, like, this, like, weight off her conscience, which is, like, oh, I get this kind of number, and, like, he seems really nice, and, like, I feel like I should just go out with him once. And, like, I also would like to have, like, a free, nice meal. I'm not saying they're all gold diggers and stuff, but this is the way they think. I know, I know lots of hot girls. And Tom goes home, and he's like, yeah, like, it was awesome. Like, like I hugged her, and we, we almost kissed and all that stuff. And, and the friend's like, oh, cool. So, like, are you guys dating now? Or, like, what's going on? He's like, I don't know. Like, and, and he sends, like, a text, like, a really needy text. And then all, all this is symptomatic of the same problem. And there should, there should really be a box before this, which is, like, stop being a pussy. Be an alpha male. Don't fake being alpha and high value without game tactics. Have boundaries as a man. Like, this is real shit. Any one of you that is a pussy that is watching this, if you take a boot camp with me, I don't even teach boot camps really much anymore. There's no way I can make you good with women or, or good at game through telling you the mechanics of pulling, which means taking your home. If you're a pussy, there's no way. It's like a divide. I'm trying to think of an analogy. It, it's just a divide. Like, I, I could, like, convince, not convince, I could um, teach you and give you understanding of proper game tactics. Like, imagine you understood proper game tactics. This, this would never happen. But imagine I, I gave you so much teaching that you understood outer game tactics and the mechanics of taking a girl home from the club and pulling as well as I did. Like, imagine even, like, even if you want to get even more crazy with that hypothetical scenario, imagine I could, like, transfer that into your brain, like, with a computer or something. It wouldn't help you. Because you're a pussy, and I keep, I keep, I keep like shout, like shouting this out. But Sonia Arvado put out a a really nice article and video very recently, when, and we're gonna do like a little guest talk about it, and I'm gonna link to it about how not to be a pushover and how and how to stop being a pushover starting today. That's where you guys need to begin. Get off the fucking Facebook newsfeed. Get off the fucking Facebook forums. Watch that video of his, and, our, and, and we're going to discuss it. So watch our discussion about it, and, and read the article. And until that's handled, do not try to learn game, because you will fail. I, I've taught enough students to know this. Like, if a guy comes on my program, and they're paying me a lot of money, they're paying me like thousands of dollars. If he comes to my program and he's a fucking loser and he's a fucking pussy, which most of them are, I cannot help them with game tactics. And and this goes, it's going to make me sound like a dick and make me sound like I'm overreacting and being harsh. This goes for almost all of you. Almost all of you are trying to to better first of all you don't you don't even know that you need to be focusing on these green boxes which is which i'm pointing out here you're just watching infotainment <clears throat> videos from rsd that are just fucking garbage and fluff and bullshit damn this is like one of the most epic fucking pickup videos ever i think i'm like i like i'm like i'm like compartmentalizing like all the different points and stuff that i've made in my mind and there's like a lot of fucking gold in here. And yeah, it's five hours. Who cares? I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not telling you anything that's not valuable. 
I'm not just like spouting off about nothing. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a superfluous, but almost all of you watching this, almost all of the guys in the community, almost all of the guys in the world are pushovers, are pussies, are low value. And I'm showing you what that leads to. It leads to rejection here. It leads to girls stopping replying over text here. It leads to getting a hug or a fucking failed kiss attempt here. And if by some fucking miracle, and this will happen sometimes with, with, for you guys with like fat chicks, okay, like say, say you bang like a slutty fat five. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh, congratulations. You made it to this point. That sl that slutty fat five won't, e won't even like go on rotation for you because because you're a pussy because you're a low value guy. So you won't even have the honor of putting her here. <laughs> oh, sounds like I'm like losing my mind, but these are like fucking killer points, I think. I know. Okay, so let's <laughs> briefly return to our example, and then I'm going to show you one more one more picture, and then we're going to wrap this shit up here. <clears throat> These fucking fish, so dumb. <laughs> By the way, guys. Private message me about like how much you love this shit. Like or, or send me emails at epdatingcoach at gmail.com that like kind of fuels fuels the uh I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna keep putting out content daily no, no no matter what, regardless, but I've been guys have been hitting me up like man, I watched like all your videos like five, ten times or whatever, like I listen to this shit. Like one kid told me like after he plows like a <laughs> after he bangs fuck buddies, he like listens to this shit like to pump him up. Or like guys listen to this shit at the gym. It's cool. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like trying to act like some fucking superstar or something. And now, again, we're gonna grow the channel. Like some of you may look at like the the subscriber amount or the view count amount and be like, oh, like why do all these total, 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 total loser coaches have like ten thousand subscribers? Or the channel's brand new. What do, What do you want? And. I have a bunch of strategies in place. I'm gonna like I'm doing podcasts with like guys that have followings every week. I'm gonna do a Reddit, ask me anything, AMA. What do you want? Like, it's gonna grow. Don't worry. I might even buy. This is be really pathetic. I might even buy simple pickups. Um, they have the what's it called? Jump, jump cut. That's like how to how to like get more YouTube followers and shit. Like, cause they. They learn the art of that with all their bullshit videos on YouTube, and they partner with the guy from Orange, Orange Pranks. So, okay. On the date, you get the awkward hug goodbye, you get the fucking failed kiss attempt or whatever. Um, but, 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 we have to keep moving through this funnel in this example. Let's say this guy happened to watch a video of mine and learned how to frame things to take the girl home. And let's say he also sexualized things on the date. Okay. Now. He gets through the house. What's the next fucking problem where he's going to fail? He doesn't know what to do with the house. He doesn't know how to sexualize, or he doesn't know how to, like, close, basically. Like, I told you earlier in the video, like, I have a student, an old student that just, like, they're hanging out, and then he just, like, gets naked and puts on a condom. It's like, it's going to get fucked up there. You have to know what to do at each of these fucking steps of the way. If you don't, you're going to fuck it up. Okay, now let's assume he watched a video that I made on that. And by some miracle, he banged her. And 
he probably is gonna bust in like a minute or, or less because he's not used to fucking hot girls and he does not have sex but I mean everyone knows how to fucking push a cock into a vagina he doesn't know how to like have like killer sex like rock star sex like fucking rock these girls give them the best sexual experience of their life give them tons of orgasm both to hook them and make them come back and make them blow up your phone and shit <clears throat> another problem so he has the 30 second blaze of glory which is nice to break to brag to all his friends is this girl gonna stick around and, and be a regular girl in his life like, like it's such it's so far-fetched for him to even get past this point it's way more far-fetched for her to not flake entirely it's beyond far-fetched for her to come home with this guy that she's just using for a free meal out of pity she's sad and then when he rocks her with this 30 second fucking bullshit performance in the in the bedroom do you think she's gonna fucking come onto the harem is he going to just start banging her all the time? Is she going to start blowing up his phone? Fuck no! Look at my fucking neighbors here. <laughs> <clears throat> no! Can you see? Can you see why you need to master these areas? You need to roll up cool. Okay, let me, let me show you how I would do it. We're going to make a nice contrast. First of all, I've cultivated my personality to express who I am freely. Second of all, when I open this chick in this nightclub, I'm going to look her directly in the fucking eyes. I'm going to like uh, I'm going to be talking loud enough so over the music so she can hear me. I'm going to be talking in a commanding tone. I'm going to be using body language and facial expressions. I'm going to assume, even though she's a 9-5, I don't give a shit because she's not on a pedestal. I'm going to assume that I got her before I go in. Okay, Why? Because I think I can fuck any girl in the world, and even if that's delusional, it's the best frame to hold. I've talked about that before. I think I talked about that in the, my, my video about mindsets to have in the club. Maybe her friend rolls in and says, we're together tonight. or we're, we're, We made a rule we can't be with boys tonight, or, or, or we're lesbians. And I'll be like, ha, ha, ha. Like, it's cool. I just want to talk to her or whatever, like, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think she's fucking sexy and the girl might look at me and be like, oh, like, I don't, I don't know how to talk to you. I'm like, why? What the fuck? Or maybe she ignores me and I'll be like, I'll be like, Hey, can you look up off your, off your fucking phone for a second? Like, I'm just, I'm just fine, trying to meet you. I'm not trying to read it. I just want to meet you. And she's like, oh, refreshing. Not a fucking pussy. Looks up. I'm like, boom, like flirt, flirt, flirt. I have my hand around her back. Why? Cause I'm not afraid to be physical. Cause I'm not a fucking fag. What happens next? I'm gonna try to take her home that night. I'm gonna try to go this route, as you see here. And let's say she's like, "Oh, my sister's visiting from out of town. Like, it has a hard logistical problem. My sister's visiting from out of town. Like, there's no way I can go home with you." And let's say we're really connecting and really vibing, and everything's cool. And I'm gonna try to make out with her too. Do I care that that she's super hot? Like, do I care if, if like, uh, if she rejects me for trying? No. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably bring her to the bar away from her friends. And we're going to be like, I'm going to be posted up and she's going to be up against me. Be like, damn, you're fucking hot, blah, blah, blah. And we're probably going to make out. And if we don't, it doesn't matter. And, and I'm going to be like, yo, let's let's go fucking hang out after this. And she's going to be like, um, you just want to have sex with me. And I'll be like, no, 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 I don't give a fuck. Like, it's not a sexual request. There's no sexual expectations. Let's just go fucking hang out and see how it goes. It'll be, it'll be cool. Like, if, if I try anything, you can just leave. And she's going to give me the hard objection with the logistics about her sister. My sister's visiting from out of town. She's staying over tonight. I really want to come back with you, but there's no way I can. Okay, cool. Um, well, let me invite you out during the week then. What's your number? Are you this area code or this area code? Because that's the way I always get the phone number. I, I give them the decision close and sales, sales tactic. I don't say, can I have your phone number? I say, okay, call me every number. Are you this area? I give the two most common area codes. Are you this number or this number? This area code or this area code? Oh, on this one. Okay, cool. Um, and let's just let's just say we did, we're doing a margarita date. I, I would normally try to invite her to the house. Well, okay, here I'll I'll, I'll incorporate her giving a hard objection on coming to the house. 
So I have her number now. Next day, hey, it's John from Club Such and Such. Um, how are you, like, what's up? How, like, how's the rest of your night? Oh, well, this and this. Oh, cool. Do you like wine? Watch my video about framing dates straight to the house. Do you like wine? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, we could split a bottle of wine at my new apartment. Do you prefer red or white? And um, in this example, I'm going to give the safety objection. Oh, I can't um, go to your house because you're a stranger and I don't, you know, I'm not comfortable with that. Like, I want to meet in public first. Watch my video. I give a strategy for how to deal with that. LOL, I'm really, I'll, I'll text back. LOL, I'm really laid back. Um, fucking five hour video. Jesus. LOL, I'm really laid back. Um, bring pepper spray for that word. And like I said, like half the girls will, out of 10, will, half the girls will agree to come and just have the bottle of wine. You can convert another two or three to come after you say the pepper spray line. I talk about it in the video, watch it. It's on the channel. Um, setting up first dates or setting up dates straight to the house. Let's say she's in that two out of the 10 that insists on the public date. Okay, so now here we are at the public date. So where are we? We're, we're here. So let's say she says, um, no, really, like I, I just would prefer to meet in public. Okay. What's my next move? Well, first of all, uh, if she was like below like an eight, like if she was like a seven to an eight, I would probably just like be like, all right, take care and delete her number. She's a nine five, so I'm gonna do the public date. Um, yeah, no worries, haha, ha, I understand. This is over text. Do you like margaritas? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, there's this Mexican spot near my place that I've been wanting to check out. Um, we could get margaritas. When are you free? And let's say I met her on a Saturday and I'm texting her Sunday. She's like, I'm free uh, Monday and Wednesday. And you want to meet as fast as possible because the lead is going to deteriorate in terms of its quality over time. Just because the investment is fading, you're both are meeting new people. She, the, the, the memory of you is, is uh, fading. So I'm like, awesome. Um, let's plan for Monday night at 7 at Venue X. Comma, sound good? Per. Yes. We go on the date. Okay, I'm flirting with her. I'm, I'm maintaining all the all the shit that I was doing here. I'm maintaining the high value, the non-pussy bullshit, the alpha presence. Okay, maybe maybe at one point she like flirts with the waiter, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, don't do that shit. Like that's just, that's disrespectful. Okay, enforcing a boundary. Watch my video on, on enforcing boundaries. And she's like, oh, I like it. And watch my video where I'm out with a girl at a bar and we're talking about what, how, how she feels when a man like sets her straight, not like in a misogynistic way, but what sets her straight when she fucks up. She gets attracted. She finds it hot. She, she says that. Now, of course, I'm going to be flirting and making sexual innuendos. Of course, I'm going to be being physical with her, not like overtly, heavily physical, but like poking you know touching here and there i set things up do you by the way do you like champagne like we're having a good time at this point do you like champagne oh yeah cool i have um i have a bottle of champagne in my place and you can even like add in a little bit of a lie to increase compliance and be like i just closed a big deal at work today let's celebrate with a bottle of champagne after this at my place but you don't need to sit up i have a bottle of champagne um i live like of course, because you're nearby. I live like a block or two away. Let's go. Um, let's go split a bottle of champagne after this. Is that cool? Maybe she says, uh, "Well, I'm not sure. Like, um, I don't really go home with guys I just met. Like, um, that's only the first date. Like, what? Any, any form of that objection? I'm gonna say like." Um, Fuck, I have to like take a piss. I'm gonna say, I'll try to end this video soon. I'm gonna say like, it's cool. I have no sexual expectations. This, this is my line against the, we can't hook up or I can't go almost change your thing on the date. 
it's cool. We don't need to, there's no sexual expectations. We don't need to hook up. Let's just go there and relax. And like, whatever happens, happens. That's another line I use. Whatever happens, happens. It takes all the pressure off. And it also solves the anti slut defense and old school game termo terminology, AST. In her mind, she's like, oh, like, this isn't for sex. Ta da. Okay. Right. And, and you can also, like, take the pressure off by being like, just come for, like, one drink. Just come for like 10 minutes. It's, it's only two blocks away. That's here. She comes to the house. Okay. I don't, I don't have a box for like fuck ability or like what or fuck abilities or how to like take shit down at the house. But let's say we're having a, a bottle of champagne. We start making it on the couch. She's, I like, we're, we're like hooking up. Like, I'll, I'll make a video about what to do at the house. She starts rubbing my dick. And then one of my lines that I say is like, are you good with your mouth? And they'll be like, yeah. And I'll be like, every girl says that. Like, just show me a preview. Again, it's it's like a really easy thing to comply with. Just show me a preview. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Just so she, now she's blowing. Now I have a 9.5 blowing me on my, on my couch. And I'll like unbutton her pants, start fingering her and shit. Fucking lift her up, go into the room and just fucking go to town like she's gonna be horny because I'm fingering her again touching the clitoris and she's gonna be riding on my cock and I'm like this is awesome I'm, I'm banging another fucking super stunner because I do it all the time and then I'm gonna be like um next oh I'm, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna put her through the whole fucking treatment like I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck her like all over the house. I'm gonna bang on the counters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like fuck her standing up. I'm gonna fuck her like on the sink. I'm gonna like have her riding on top, forwards, backwards, like doggy style, like sideways facing, sideways facing away. Like I'm gonna fucking eat the shit out of her pussy. Like have her sit in my face. Like spank her ass. Like I might pull out like I have like BDSM whips and stuff. I, I don't usually use that shit, but I might be like, Are you, do you like BDSM? Oh, yeah, and now I'm, like, whipping her ass, fucking her doggy style, pulling her hair, like, making her call me daddy, all this shit, fucking come all over her face. <coughs> Probably take, like, a short break and fucking bang her again. Maybe bang her a third time. And she's going to be like, holy fuck, right? Cause, and I'm going to rock the shit out of her. And... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna probably set up a dinner date. That's why that's what I usually do. I'm gonna set up a dinner like okay, like we should go for like an Italian dinner or something. Like when are you free? She's like, Oh yeah, Wednesday I'm like, Okay, Wednesday. We go for dinner and now we're being romantic and shit. Take her home, rail her out again. What's gonna happen next? She's gonna be fucking hooked on the sex. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm like using this I'm not using my like good sex techniques as man, as manipulation or anything like that. It's just, it's just fucking done at that point. Like, boom. Like you, she is here. Contrast that to the man that was given a pity number. That was given a, a pity date opportunity. That was given a hug goodbye. Or maybe he got a 30 second little pump in there <laughs> and she's gone. Like she's, she's like teetering on the verge of being gone at every step of the way versus what I'm doing. I have it like very solidly planned and very solidly set up to just put her in this pink category which is where you want nines and 9.5s and if you didn't already know on rotation like lots of them and you want to be able to do this consistently and this is how you do it the example i just gave you is how you do it and a lot, and a lot of times you can you can do it here like in this example because i wanted to go through the funnel in this example she had the sister in town so this part was not possible and that's it like hurrah to da like you have been enlightened you have been brought out of plato's cave okay show me one fucking rsd video with their cutaways to the cities that describes that flow it's a joke they're gonna tell you to I don't know what they're going to tell you. To lay down on a sidewalk. 
is like their new thing. Let, let be fearless and lay down on a sidewalk. <laughs> it's like that's I I love I I really I really want them to just keep putting more of this out there because it 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 sucks on one hand because all these guys are doing this stuff and they're being misled, but it's really it's like really 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 funny to me. Like this is how you actually get stunned on rotation, not by laying on a sidewalk. <laughs> um. And then this this actually would continue like I didn't make like more boxes, but this would continue into like the other green the next green box here would be like teaching you how to like manage manage the rotation. Actually, I guess that would be this green box. What? Uh, but basically, you, the, the basic rules are you want to see her once a week. If you see her more than that, she's going to get attached. You're going to get attached. If you see her less than that, she's going to get cold and like. Uns like dissatisfied if she pushes for a relationship or asks like where is this going um my personal strategy which is a lie is i say i just got out of a long-term relationship and my heart is not ready yet and i wouldn't be fair to you and that that goes on forever <laughs> sounds like a bastard move but at least i'm not telling them like yeah let's let's be official although in ukraine i, I was doing that i had like five official girlfriends um let me see here mm. oh another big piece after you get them here which is the goal you don't want to be needy you don't want to you don't want to fucking blow up their phone and ask what they're doing all the time and shit you mostly want to let them come to you and hit you up like Every time that I, like, like these girls are all like, can I see you? Can I see you? Can I see you? And I'm like, I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, um, one of the Ukrainian girls actually, she subscribed to my my YouTube channel. I, I, she knows I'm a dating coach. She, she's like, I'm excited for you to put out on your next video or whatever. Like, I want to, I want to see more of your videos. So I will be publishing this one today and it's five hours so i hope you just fucking cuddle up with a fireplace and a glass of wine or some popcorn and, and watch the technical breakdown of how you advance through the funnel to bang hoes chicks sorry don't forget people give me shit for calling girls bitches and hoes i'll leave that to snoop dogg i guess I'm telling her I'm, I'm about to finish one right now. This chick's a doctor in Ukraine. Wants to marry me. It has a lot of strife about me just banging out the world <laughs> sexually. Alright, well that's that's it for this. All right, let me. There's one other thing I want to show you. It's a related concept. Um, hold on. Oh shit! Hold on. Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> a nice photo of Papa with a, a dick in his mouth. Um, these are like some of the chicks I banged that I saved recently. This is a nice <laughs> photo of our our good buddy. This is a uh, flashing attire. Mm, shit. Let me think. Fuck, I could have sworn I made a different video about this. Oh, here we go. Here, I'll just do this. Okay.
this is the funnel, so to speak. I didn't put any numbers here. But imagine you had a bunch of night game leads, a bunch of online game leads. Oh, this should say day game. It's a mistake. Here, let me just fix that really fast so I'm not like fucking confusing everyone. I'm not going to be doing online game twice. <laughs> okay. This is like a, a vertical version, but I want you guys to, to see. Here, there's the camera. I want you guys to see it like kind of narrowing down. So the more you go to bars and clubs, the more you acquire leads here. The more you use Tinder and Bumble, again, daily reminders on your calendar, and do, preferably do it multiple times a day, the more leads you acquire here. The more you go trounce around the, <laughs> the streets of your city, or as I instruct, just open any girl above your hotness threshold during the day, the more leads you acquire here. And then some of these will lead to polls. Ignore for the purposes of this video. The rest are going to lead to phone numbers. So you get a bunch of leads, a bunch lead to phone numbers, a bunch lead to dates. This should, this should be like a V. A bunch lead to dates, a bunch lead to closes, and then you pick the best ones that you have sex with for your rotation. So it's, it's typically going to be the hottest, coolest chicks that you have the best chemistry with. All right, I need to fucking take a nap because it's... it's I only like slept a couple hours after this I came to this chick last night and I, I've been doing this video for five hours. Um, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Okay, there it is. Get leads, learn, improve these green boxes and you will be a rock star. One more time, I'm not going to recap this whole thing again, but this here is covered in my setting up dates to the house video this here will be covered in a variety of videos all the stuff before this about not being a pussy and not being a pushover will, will, will be released like probably tomorrow it's gonna be a sonny arvato guest post he has a nice article and video about not being a pushover um and then what to do back at the house which is here and here will be a separate video to be put out in the future and then how to build and maintain a rotation will be a separate video that I'll put on future. So that's it. Sorry for the length. That's what she said. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. It was cool to, to go over and I'm gonna probably get drunk later and watch this shit and laugh my ass off. So that's that. Signing off, boys. Boys, boys. Remember, it's time to become men. Alright. Oh, and don't be like Tom. And Jay don't stand in line, I ain't never had to wait I'm the realest in this game, I ain't never had to fake Just take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar Trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon